Okay. This is <clears throat> I'm live. Hello, hello. We're live. We're live. We are live. This is going to be a live Saturday night arts and craft show for adults. Because we might use scissors and heat guns and things are, that are not safe for little hands. So if uh, we will be, this will be a live chat show as well. So if you're watching this at a later time and you want to zip through the boring parts to get to the fun parts, I invite you to do so. In the meantime, I will be interacting with the chat room because that is how we play. That's how we work it. That's how we do it. We, uh... <laughs> We uh, we talk to the chat room and they we interact with them and they tell me what to do and boss me around and then we have to act as goofy as possible of course as goofy as possible that is how we like to do it <laughs> and Janet is number one tonight Janet's number one she's been waiting in bed sitting up waiting knitting away crocheting away waiting for me Hi, Janet. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Nancy. Hi, Barbara. How are you, Barbara? So, how are you girls doing? We're going to have a little twist tonight. <laughs> have, have, not that I do anything in it with a twist. <laughs> but we're going to... Um, <clears throat> We are going to do a roll of penguin night. It's roll of penguin. And so we will be playing a game. And we're also going to be doing a reverse collage. And we're going to be using the white book. And if you don't have the white book, you might have an art book. Hi, Samantha. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> Barbara's doing better and better. Okay. <laughs> are you over the Christmas stuff we, we got our tree out out and cleaned up and decorations put away <sighs> janet said, liked me last night i tell you i was flying by the seat of my pants and i don't know how i do it but it always works out it always works out there's abby barking dog alert so, uh, yeah, we had an art hop yesterday, and it was Throwback Friday, and and everybody that, I didn't get to see everybody because uh, I, I sleep off and on during the day, <laughs> so I was sleeping during some of them, but I'll, I can go back and watch, watch some of the others, but I did see quite a few, and they were all wonderful to me, they all, they were, and they always are, you know, always watching our art fun you know yes i i just i just happened to do that uh paper uh the um uh, paper doll and i was trying to I, i've been hanging on to the the idea of it all month long i was terrible i was awfully i, I can't keep a secret i just can't keep a secret <laughs> i wanted to tell somebody about it so bad and I ended up putting it in here and I thought, oh, great, why not? I was going to, you know, when I originally thought of doing a, a collage with these paper dolls, I thought, well, I'll just do it on in my art book. And I thought, heck no, we got this big old book. Let's use it. <laughs> so I just turned the next page and then I got to show off my little penguin guy during the video to show people what I do during my stream. And then and then we also have been doing reverse collages. So this worked out that I got to show these two pages and uh, and, you know, maybe some people will, you know, will come on in and watch us. So because uh, I, I do a variety of stuff and um, and this especially January, I've got I'm doing six different projects throughout the week and two two on each two different projects on each days that I stream. And then if there's enough time, we'll do something else, <laughs> you know, so not, you know, we I just like to do everything. I like to do too many things. So we're getting our feel we're getting our fill of projects in the month of January this year. So we've got, we're working on the UK book and the mandalas on Tuesday. That was so much fun last Tuesday that I really enjoyed that. I'd never really 
done mandalas before, but we're working on one. And uh, we're doing like two or three things at a time with the mandalas. And we've got cards and we've got doodle cards, you know, so that's a lot of fun on Tuesday. So I really, I'm really, I really like that plan. I don't want to change it. And then on Thursdays, we're doing the paint along with the felting. And then we have the coloring in the Japan book, uh, the Japan coloring book. I like this layout. I don't want to give any of this up. I want to continue to do this on Thursday. So I'm not, I don't want to give anything up. So I'm going to continue to do different things throughout the week. And then on Saturday, which is tonight, we're going to play the game, roll a penguin. And I'm tempted to do it in here. And then we are going to do a, a reverse collage in here tonight. And um, I know that we picked out we picked out this page the, uh, the other day. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for next week. Because, um, uh, you know, you have to follow your gut. You know, gut feelings. And, and the reason why I say that is I've got, a, I've got another picture back here that I picked out out of the whim, out of the I don't know. I just opened it up and that was it. And I said, I want to do this tonight. <laughs> and, 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 and it's the clouds over the, over the Arctic mountains and the water. And I said, I want to do this as a reverse collage. So, um, and it was so funny last night when we were doing the hop. Somebody asked, well, what does reverse collage mean? And I said, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> and thankfully, Tanya was in the chat room and she saved me. She saved me. I was embarrassed. And I said, I don't know what it means. I just go along with it. You know, I just do what everybody else does. And I did learn it from Dee Dee Willingham. And I said that. And uh, I said, you just alter the page, you know, and it's not really a reverse. It's. It's more of an altar page, but she nicked it, nicknamed it reverse collage. And uh, so you, 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 you're supposed to cover something up of the, of the book and then, and then do a new collage on top. But I don't think, I don't think it's uh, terrible that I don't paint anything. And on this one, this particular page, I don't think I need to paint anything out. I think this is just perfect the way it is. And so I picked out a few pictures. <laughs> That I had in my in my uh, paper doll box, I I picked out a few things, thinking I might use it on this page. So we're going to alter this page tonight, and and we can do this first, or we can do the roll of penguin first, and I'll let you all choose. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to everybody that saw me last night. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Thirty minutes. Uh, a lot of the girls have complained that 30 minutes is, is not enough time. And when you're having so much fun, like I did last night, 30 minutes was kind of hard because I didn't want to stop. I wanted to continue to play and I had to just quit because the time was up and it worked out fine. I had plenty on my page, but, uh, and I did go back and uh, I sealed the page. I wanted, to, for those of you that saw it last night, I, all I did was tack everything down. And so I went back over all of it with a varnish type of a gloss, gloss varnish. And, and I went over, I, tack, I went ahead and glued everything down real good that wasn't glued. And I went over top of it with this varnish and it leaves it, um, it's sealed. It's just all sealed up. Nothing's going to peel off or anything. And uh, it, it feels nice. It feels, it's hard and it feels nice. So that, that's a good thing. So that's a good thing. So I did do that after the show. But um, um, let me get back to chat a little bit. So uh, let's see. Y'all saying hello to each other. Love the pages. Uh, love the paper dolls. They were cute. They really were. That was a total throwback. And I watched the, ple the repays. Uh, and somewhere in the middle of the night here. Yes, I know, Janet, they were for you. And hi, Patty. Hi, honey. Oh, look, I love that page. You're look okay. Yay, Beth. Hi. <laughs> hi, Mina. 
And always a fun time with Beth. Thank you, Janet. We do. We have a lot of fun. And that's just one of the rules is to have fun. Hard to think on your feet. <laughs> yeah. And, um, <clears throat> and you know, when I'm, when I am, uh, doing a 30 minute, uh, art, just in 30 minutes do, doing whatever I'm doing, whatever project I'm doing. I'm so conscious of the, the chat room. I want to read chat, but I, I don't have time on the hops. So, um, uh, and I hate for her to extend them and make them long and make them an hour because some of the girls, um, well, you just have to add more content to, to, to what you're doing. If, if I, if I can't find enough, 45 minutes I would work slower and I would have maybe glued more showed more gluing techniques maybe uh then then talked about the varnish because I didn't talk I didn't get to talk about sealing it and uh, maybe I could have showed showed some other reverse collages in my in my other art book so I could probably pull it out to an hour very easily very easily so uh but it was fun and uh and we're already working on next month she's already got a plan for next month <laughs> before before we even ended the night she she mary come on and said this is what i think we should do next month <laughs> and, and we're all going thumbs up we're, we're in we're in we're in you know a few questions and okay i'll do it you know <laughs> No, no longer have have one project done, and you're already excited about the next. That is true love. That's how much. That's how much that Mary, Mary, Mary LTA loves loves us, loves the community, loves the art. That's how. That's how. That's how much she loves her career. It's a career. It is. Well, there's Joe. Hi, ladies. Don't you think this is a good career for me? <laughs> Art. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Art, you kidding? Nope, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So anyway, I just got a message uh, in in Facebook from Barbara. Is Barbara in here yet? <clears throat> and uh, Barbara Barbara Bats was Batser. She was saying that she didn't have this book. And I'm saying you don't have to have this book. So tonight, I'm going to do my reverse collage in this book and in this book. I'm going to show you all how to do a reverse collage in your art book. book for those of you that don't have this, uh, you know, a big book to play in. And uh, uh, I think that's a good idea. Everybody saying hi, Joe. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm playing with the dogs. Hi, Nina. Hi, Mina. Janice, how are you? So, uh, so anyway, that's my little twist for tonight. I'm going to, I'm going to do it on a blank page and in, in the white book. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I, I, and I am sad to say I ordered some, some of these white books. Um, I ordered one for Mina and one for Teresa and one for Cheryl, and then I had an extra one coming, and I haven't seen any light that they're coming my way. I haven't seen any notification that they've been shipped or anything, and um, and so I hope maybe I'll get them, maybe I won't get them. So uh, if I do, I will send those books to you, girls. I bet Nora's <laughs> got them. Nora. Norma. Oh, Norma. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, she ordered her book before the first day I showed it. Uh, uh, so I do apologize, but, but that we're going to, we're not going to worry about this book and we might just switch over to the art book. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about everybody having the, the, having a book and you don't need the exact same book. You can use any other kind of book that you have. If you have an older book that we, that you used to art in and there's other pictures in it, use that, use a new picture. And post it and and show us show us how you show us how it's done. <laughs> let's get let's get down to business. Show us how it's really done. So anyway, I'm going to try to fix my camera so that my book is in the whole page. So um, so do you all want to do this first, or do you want to play the game first? I know that some of the Cheryl's eating dinner, and she loves the role game. 
So I don't know. What do y'all want to do? We can do either one. Tell me your vision. What do you see? What do you see? <laughs> I found this out of a magazine and I thought of jo rejoicing. <laughs> Able to rejoice has a picture of an eye on her on her icon picture. <laughs> you want to do the reverse collage and paint? Okay. Okay. Um, so so uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. Now I have never done uh well, you know how we do prompt pages, uh, how we play the games. You know, it's kind of like that. You've got these pictures to play with, and you just make a scene, and it's really not hard. I, I think we already kind of already do all this stuff, but I'm just going to show you how easy it really, really is. And I'm, I put some uh, wax paper right there, so I want to put some... Um, color down on my white page and since i'm working in in this book and it's already blue i might as well add on the blue right so i'm going to put a little bit of gesso down too so we're playing playing in our art tonight joe what are you doing what are you doing tonight playing in the backyard <laughs> get ready to put the carpet in yeah we could wait because they both like to play the, the, the penguin game. Yes, we can do that. We could take a break. We could do we could play this for a little while and then we can take a break and then we can come back to it. We really are easy to get along with. <coughs> well come on. Could get that out for you, ladies. Well, it would help if I had a hole in it. <laughs> it's it's sealed. Plugged it plugged. Plugged like the rug. Look at the rug. Look Janet's this. talking to you, Joe. Oh, I'm sorry, Janet. How are you? How am I? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm good. Doing fine. Yeah, I got all the sides on and painted. On the doghouse? Yeah. He's working on a doghouse. <coughs> I think you need to come in and maybe start straightening up since we might have some company <laughs> tomorrow. I think his daughter is going to come down and visit us. We might have some family coming. So if that's the case, he should straighten the house, straighten up since he's got all of his papers all over the dining room. So, uh, that would be a good thing. Yes, I needed to sip of my drink. I do have a drink. Ah, cold beverage. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I just thought I'd put down a little bit of collar. And... <clears throat> And I don't care if it's streaked. I prefer it streaked. And uh, we're going to cover some most of it up anyway. So, But a little bit of color on the background is always nice in case it peeks through for some reason. Okay. Joe fixed a, a chicken rotisserie yesterday. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. How are you? And mm -hmm. he, 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 it was a whole chicken, and it was on the rotisserie, and it went round and around and around, and it cooked really good. About an hour. Is it about an hour? No, a little longer. Well, there oh. was a moment that it had a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're figuring out how to use it's the air fryer. Yeah. You're right, that's an And uh, and he he opened the door to take a picture of it because it was so pretty. And there is a light on and a little window, but it, you know you can get a better picture if you just open the door. And he took a picture of it. And here is the picture 
of our chicken. <laughs> he wrapped a, he wrapped a baker's twine all the way around it to, so that it wouldn't it would stay on the stick, you know, in kind of one piece because the chicken was real relaxed. <laughs> A lot of water in it. It, it was it was it was frozen, so it was moist, and it was in the arms and legs, you know. So he tried to tie them up, and uh, and I finally said, just go around it and around and around it like you do a Christmas tree, you know, when you buy a Christmas tree and you tie it up, you know. Well, I, he did, and you can see that there's all the string around it, <laughs> but it worked, you know. So it, it was, and it's really, really good. It really baked very, very nice, about an hour. And uh, there was a pan on the bottom. It was not touching the bottom. Uh, that looks like it's touching, but it wasn't. It turned freely. And there was a tray to catch any of the drippings. So, uh, so that was cool. Yeah, Norma's husband got one just like Yeah, that. Norma, Norma's husband got one too. <laughs> because <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I sort of had all my Christmas presents uh, were sent to Norma's house by mistake. <laughs> and Susanna so, Z, yeah, mm -hmm. she asked last night about the pork chops. And pork yeah. chops are uh, just about the same. It's about uh, yeah. minutes. Uh, on Suzanne was asking, how did you cook the pork chops? And... Um, and they were about 15 minutes each side, you know, you, and you flip. And really, you don't really have to flip it because they're on those wire racks, you know. And, okay, Christy, she'll be home in a little bit. Drive safe. She might be listening to us in the car. Drive safe. Don't text and, t don't text and drive. It's not worth it. And uh, but anyway, she was asking for the recipe, and there is no really no recipe. You season the pork chops, you know, to your taste, and you put them in the oven, and you cook them 15 minutes for about 350, and uh, then 15 minutes flip them and cook 15 more minutes, and you're done. And they were and they were thick pork chops, and I think I was on here when he brought one, bought me a bite of them, and I ate it right here. That so that was like. Tuesday it was like Tuesday when we ate the pork chops so uh, so anyway I, I, I'm going to dry this just a little bit more so what I did um, what you need to do next is find some uh, random pictures for magazines and I'll show you some of the pictures I picked out and I don't have to use them don't have to use them all uh, I can pick and choose what I want I just randomly pick these um, to my I just I just pulled them out and, and said I like that I like that I like that I like that and I so and I sort of went with the blues and um, these some of these were already fussy cut out this one needs to be more fussy cut and I think he's really cool he could be you know um, fussy cut just a little bit more and uh, and you just start laying them down on your on your uh, in your on your paper and there you go you know you start you start you're starting to do a reverse collage uh, there's no right or wrong with reverse collage and uh, sometimes it's it's just it's I think it's fun to be funny you know we like to laugh in my house it looked like he was balancing himself with that hand yeah he is <laughs> That's about the way I do it. Kitty was up on the roof. Oh, was she? She started. She started. That cat is. She was on top of the roof, and she was laid on her <clears throat> on her back, and she was rolling down towards me because I got right at the edge of the gutter, and uh, she wanted me to rub her belly, and I said, "Well, you gotta go all the way over here." So anyway, she she came about two two foot from the edge, and I couldn't get her. So I said, "Well, I'm getting down." 
she can get up and down off that roof. Oh, I know. It's not real high. It's only about 12 foot. No, eight, ten. Eight or ten yeah. foot uh, roof off, off of his workshop. Uh, yes, this is wax paper, and I can take it off now. I basically put that there so when I paint around the edges of my paper, um, I don't paint the papers underneath, and it keeps your book cleaner that way. And I do have another page, another uh, protector around here somewhere, but uh, it's not at my fingertips right now. So anyway, we got this guy, and I've got a couple of these. So I guess what I could do is get me a little bit more room over here. And I can try to, I don't know if I can get all three in, but I might be able to do three and a half. <laughs> so maybe I can, I can sort of get three and a half in here. So uh, you can see what I'm doing. But these are all my pictures over here. And so what I'm trying to do is put pictures on both sides of this and on this. And so uh, he looks pretty cool over here on this guy, on this page. And I've got some more people. Here's another girl. And you see this has got mountains and, and water. And I don't know, maybe I need to put her over here because I don't, she's too tall to stand on top of the mountain. Let's see if this girl, this girl's going to be tall too. And, um, and with this, this dress, this, this is a, a paper doll. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and cut off the little tabs because um, I don't need these tabs. And these are vintage. They're, these are, these are before me. These were, uh, the, the girl that I, I bought these from in a yard sale, she said they belonged to her mother. And she, and the girl was my, uh, well, she was younger than me, a little bit younger than me. But, uh, yeah, these are real old. But anyway, I have, I have a word down here, and it says, the secure art. As soon as I find the art, it's here somewhere. It says the secure and I had art. This is a picture of a, uh, you know, a city, a city back there. We could, we could maybe put that over here or I was thinking, I don't know if it would fit on here or not. Maybe trim, trim this off just a little bit. And it could be the city on this little island. I don't know if it's an island or a, uh, a big land uh, base. I have no idea. And I thought about maybe I could even, I could even do more trimming uh, on this so that it would blend into this skyline. That might be a good idea too. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, trim this out real quick, real fast. And I could even add to it. Now that would be more, that would be adding some paint to the page which would be which would be more altering uh, reverse collaging by painting some of the things and I could paint in some of the scenery that would be good I, that would probably be better for me to do that and the kitty cat's meowing and I don't know what she wants Get up. Give her another spoonful of food. Just a spoonful of sugar. And she does like that food. I hope so. I bought her some uh, urinary tract infection food for the cat because uh, we don't know if she has a, a pee pee problem. And it, it, it might not even be her, it might be the one of the dogs, which I would, I would. Look yeah, at Abby yeah. first before anybody else. But this would be fun to put down here on the on this uh, uh, this land, hard land. That looks like Las Vegas. Yeah, I guess that's I probably know. New York. But anyway, I have one of these, and I think there's another one similar to that over here. I thought this was pretty. That would look good on the. Um, 
on the edge of it maybe secure can stay here's this other little pinwheel so we can put one over here and one on the other page we can share we can divide it up there's the art yes, I am. he's over here talking to the dog <laughs> and i've got these big jewels and um I don't know. They can either, maybe they can be something coming down from the sky. I was going to say a spaceship. Like a spaceship? Yep. Yeah. I had the, where did the, the go? Secure art. So I'm starting to put things down. So there's the, here's the, uh, the spaceship coming in. And we can find a watch to put on it. That's what Dee Dee would do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we had a lightning down here. Hi, Cheryl. Today or not. Did like, you hear some boom booms? Yeah, right for you. Well, I think it's something going on. Somebody said that they were practicing um, bomb maneuvers over in Ocala. Oh. Or something. Um. I think the butterfly looks good. It's it's a picture of uh, a summer field, and it's a butterfly. That looks good. And this thing could be this thing could be something, uh, you know, maybe attached to the uh, spaceship, and then we can put another watch on there. I got some watches. Yeah, that looks good. And somehow this might look good um it's kind of like uh you know how you have like hawaiian flowers you know tropical flowers where this is arctic flowers i don't know i'm just making it up as a go so anyway i still have some more things to go through uh i want to get a watch and i do have a watch book <clears throat> right here at my fingertips. And we can sort of pick out what size of a watch we want to put up there. I'm just going to use the face part of it. This one would be pretty because of all of the, the gadgets on it. See, I just pick out the first one I see. No problem with me. Here we go. Cheryl, we're going to work on this for just a few minutes, and then we're going to do Roll a Penguin. So let me know as soon as your, um, your digestive, <laughs> your dinner's digested. Because <laughs> I know you just ate. And Cheryl, and Teresa, if she isn't in here yet, she's cooking dinner because she cooks. So there's a watch, and we could put that like right in the middle of the jewels. And then we can do what Dee Dee does with the the rays and have the have them shooting out. <clears throat> she always has <laughs> some sort of laser going on. <laughs> hi, Janice. Janice Johnson, hi there. Hi, everybody coming in. Hi, Sherry. Candy. Hi, guys. Anybody else? Kirsty. Joe, ask Beth if she does the magazine Pick 5 game. Well, you'll have to tell me more about it, Christy. The magazine Pick 5 game. Like you pick five objects out of the magazine and then you make a page out of it. I think I saw... Mary do that. I see. So, um, yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, I think, I mean, I'm, I could pick five things out of this, you know, and make a page out of it. Um, I probably could do that. I have more than five, though. I sort of have more than five. Um, and I'm doing it twice because I'm showing, I want to show 
um, I want to show that you how, how you can do a reverse collage on here too. <coughs> and you can pick five things out of what I've already picked out. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. And then I have this girl. And she's like, she's flying. So, so wouldn't that be pretty over here? She's maybe flying. I could put her in the ditch. And she's flying up, you know, when as the spaceship is coming at, around. I like that right like that. <laughs> I'm just placing them down. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I haven't done that. But that would be something I could do. I would be willing to do it, but not tonight. Um, <clears throat> instead of doing a collage with, with things that I've already got cut out, I can go to a magazine and pick five random pages. <clears throat> and out of those pages, I can show you how to make a page out of it. See, that's a challenge for me, and I would love to do that. I could do it. It's the same thing with the journaling by fives. You know, you 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 work in, on instantaneous energy. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, let me see what I got in my stash. I do have these. Uh, he can maybe come up out of the ocean. Just the eyes. Just the eyes. Uh, Let's see if I can get a little bit of that off. He could be coming up out of the water. He needs something sitting on his head, though, doesn't he? Like uh, somebody standing on it or something. I also have uh, a hot air balloon clock. <laughs> so it's got to go in here somewhere. And then I have this little pixie girl. This came out of a wallpaper book. <laughs> and I saved the little girl because I thought she was cute. So we can cut her out. And she could be she could be somewhere in our little world. She's cute. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe she needs to go over here on this page. I don't know. She's awful cute. So we're getting we're getting a few things on here. I don't know if we're going to have room for all of them, but we might have to overlay some of them. I better move her up because <laughs> he looks like he's grabbing her. We don't want him a grabbing her saying, stay back. I'm coming through. <laughs> okay, then I also have a tent. And I thought this tent would be cute on the <laughs> on this Arctic place, but I don't know that we're going to have room for the tent. We don't have to use all of this stuff. We could save some of it for another day. So I don't think we're going to have room for that since we've got so much on here already. And I do have uh, two more things here. I have a I have a tall building. 
So if we don't use this, I could put the tall building over here too on the side as the spaceship's coming in. I kind of like that in there. So let's see. <clears throat> Right, Cheryl, it's five pages that out of a magazine that I have it just randomly pick. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I'll do I'll plan on doing it then on the next collage. Hi, Joy. Welcome, honey. Sweet friend, randomly select five numbers. Oh, and then you pour them those numbers of pages from the magazine. Okay, and then you make the page. There you go. You do random.org and you pick get five random numbers. And then those are the numbers from the magazine that you pull out. Okay. Okay. I got you. All of these pictures came out of some magazines that I have. And I uh, sometimes I, I harvest my magazines. I got so many, so I, I I cut out anything and everything that 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 I can cut off of the pages, and uh, and I put them in a box. And I have a box over here that uh, I put my images and words in, and uh, I just keep them in here. Like this came from an insurance book from Florida. And I thought it was cool, you know. And here's a here's a uh, a boat from a travel brochure. Here is some negative punch. Sometimes it's fun to put on your pages. Uh, I I cut this out. It says meals in a minute because you just don't know. You might have a pie or you might have some kind of dessert or something and you can put that with the dessert or something. I mean, you make stuff up as you go. And then I have a couple of pictures of just some field and sceneries. Uh, here's This is from a history book and it's kind of like a map. And there's some um, old pictures. It's a western picture of a horse-drawn buggy or something. Here's an old clock. Uh, this was some painty papers that uh, somebody sent me some painty papers on some dictionary pages. And it's just a leftover piece. And here is some cursive writing. So these images and, and tidbits and things in here uh, are in my image box. And, and uh, they're just leftover images, painty papers, magazine clippings, happy mail. Somebody sent me this. And so it might be fun to see, you know, to do a scene around this, you know, and it's just, they're just pictures. This was sent to me from in some happy mail and it's just a funny picture, you know, and, uh, and then I printed some things out one time and some, there's some uh, scrapbooking paper and it was probably gifted to me because I don't remember making this or, having that so it's probably a part of some happy mail and uh you just never know you might need part of a ship you know <laughs> you might need a gentleman you know to, in your pictures uh these are like inventors out of this old book here's the other part of the boys and you might you need some soldiers you know in your in your art and then if you go down here i've got i've got tons of stuff down here from, this is off of some packaging, and it's a cookie. Uh, a piece of purple cardboard. You just never know. You might need a piece of purple cardboard. A fan. You might need a fan. <laughs> I've got a gecko. I've got some uh, cartoon characters, children's books, uh, music paper, just anything that is recyclable. Uh, I've got torn paper in here that was with another project left over. And then on down, I still have more pictures. And and um, I've got photographs and pictures from magazines down in here. Wrapping paper, puzzles, uh, just anything and everything you can think of to put in a collage. I've got some butterflies and some stamps 
and some more words and some old notes. <laughs> I don't know. You never know. You might need a bingo sign, you know, you might need we, we put a bingo. So this is just a, a, a random box of photos, buildings, and bridges that you might use in your art, you know, for something. And that's all this is. It's just it's just uh, odds and ends of some pictures and, and words. And I keep them in this box and I, I can get to them anytime I want. And then I, this came out of a, a diving magazine that I had. And I thought maybe one of these guys would look good on here. And I lost my guys with my glasses. Did I pick them up? <laughs> I don't see them on the floor. I had my guys with my glasses right here. But I probably picked them up. Um, but anyway, uh, I can use one of these. Um you know, coming up out of the water. Save the other for another time. And it says, blow little bubbles. Tiny bubbles. I think it's a scuba exercise. <laughs> So we can put that there. If I come, ac come across the glasses, I'll put them back. So uh, I'm going to start gluing some of this stuff down. So uh, there's 25 of you in here. So hello, everybody. Uh, Barbara's here. Hi, Barbara. Chicken pot pie. Cherry's here. Teresa's here. As soon as I, I'm going to glue some of these down, and then we're going to play at Roll a Penguin. And uh, Tony, there she goes. Barbara, I got Barbara singing. That's good, Barbara. So anyway, I got enough collage stuff here for two pages. And I wanted to show you how you could do it for two pages. And I do need to find some words for this page. Or maybe um, maybe you all can think of some words uh, that would be fitting for this page. And I don't have to use all of these. That might work right there. <laughs> okay, she said she's cooking. Teresa's cooking dinner. She's tired and fine, but fine. How are you? Doing good. Hanging in there. Better. I'm better now that I'm here with you. <laughs> I've been moping around all day long. My computer changed bit. Oh, my computer charger bit the dust. I'm on my phone, so not seeing chat too good. Forgive me if I miss anything. Okay, Joy. Joy Carter's having uh, vision <laughs> clarities. <laughs> I I told I I sympathize with you. I tell you, I I got my big computer up, and then I got my iPad up, and then I have my phone for. For more backup. <laughs> Fly. Be free. Okay. So she needs to be up here. Fly. Be free. So what I can do is. I've got some paper here. I don't know if I like that on there or not. And I've got those words. Uh, let's see. It's always better when we're together, isn't it? Yes, it is, Teresa. 
Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh oh, Tracy's going to go check her cornbread. Oh my god, she makes good country dinners. Yeah, buddy. I might be doing some cooking if I get company this weekend. I just might be cooking me up a little bit of good stuff. So I'm going to put, I can, I'm going to ink the edges of these. I'll ink the edges and then I'll put these on here. So let's see, I'm going to ink them in, I don't know, I'll try this just for giggles. Okay, can you see it? I know there's a uh, I know there's a glare from my uh, it's probably from up over here somewhere over there. So I got fly be free. I don't even have to put it up that high. I can put it down here even. I could put it down here. And if I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could change girls. And that way, all three of these figures are flying. He's flying on his skateboard. And she's flying in the air or something. <laughs> And I could separate those words. So what do you think about that page? That is a reverse collage. Or a collage page. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. <laughs> Hi, everybody coming in. So, so if you can't do a reverse collage... I don't know. It's just a name. It's just a name. It's, you know, it's still, it's still just gluing. You know, you're gluing things together. Oh, Candy got a new coloring book. Did you get the, the, uh, the, that Japan, the Japan one? Barbara says, I'd love the girl's head on the guys and the guys on head on the girls. Oh, but she's so pretty. Oh, <laughs> She's an angel. <laughs> I'm not going to do it this time. <laughs> yes, a passion for Japan. Okay, good. Well, we'll we will be coloring in it on Thursday again. Some some wings. Does she need some wings? Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can give her some wings. Let's see. How am I going to do this? I don't know, was that, would that be a wing? How do I make a wing? <laughs> I messed it up. I could use uh, butterfly wings.
I'm a trying. I'm a trying. That looks okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. Oh, now, let's see here. So, here we go. Everything's just color coordinated. If I have time tonight, uh, since these are going pretty fast, if I have time, I, I'll do. Um, let me get these down, and I'll and I'll get. We'll play role of penguin. And um, if I get these done, I will do the other reverse collage uh, that you're talking about uh, with the magazine. How about that? Does that sound good? Sure. I'll play along. I'm easy. Because this is going down better, you know, this is going down pretty good. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. And I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with it. Before I put that down, I'm going to put her wings in here. See the war. There we go. Fly be free. So. That looks all right to me. Well, get down. Stay. Okay. And the pixie. Got to have little pixie girl back. So this page just came together naturally. I love it when, when that happens. And what I can do is go ahead and I have my... Um, my gloss varnish here and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this it's real thin and uh, <laughs> uh, it's not real it's not real thick it's real thin and you just put a little a little bit around over top of your page like that and and that that'll cover the whole thing this much it will it's real thin thin and it will cover the whole page it it smooths out real nice and I'm just using my fan brush which is what I like to glue with anyway 
and I paint with it. I do everything with my fan brush. I just like to do it. And so this will make, uh, a, it'll seal everything down and you don't have to about worry about anything coming off. And it also um, kind of gives it a hard uh, tap, tap feel to it on top after it dries real good. And sometimes uh, it doesn't take too long for it to dry if you just use just what I as much as I just used it shouldn't take too long to dry and so I'm going to go ahead and put this over to the side and let it dry while I work on the the one underneath now so Beth whenever you do we also enjoy okay thank you for streaming and bringing us together thank you Barbara thank you I do love it and I do love arting with you because I don't like to art alone. I won't do it by myself. I fly free. Just my angel and me. Love in, love in the air. That's why we soar way up there. Oh, Teresa made a rhyme. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> I, uh, you know, Cheryl hasn't given me any rhymes for a long time. Am I going to have to write that down in the book? I might have to write that down. <laughs> That's so cute. Let's see if, where my book is. I've got a book up here. <laughs> Stay cool book. Let's see, there's more pages in the back. So I haven't done it since September. My gosh, Cheryl, where have we been? <laughs> I think we just took a break. So it says, fly be free, just my angel and me. I'm writing it down. <laughs> just my angel and me. Love in the air. That's why we soar way up there. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. I put you in the book. Um, I might be able to write it on here, but I'm going to have to wait till this varnish dries. So I'm going to put this over to the side and let it dry. I'll, I'll let me get the heat gun on it just for a minute, and that'll help get it started. Um, did I miss anything else? Almost picked that up from Joyce. I hate to What? Deborah says, hi, Teresa. What's with the, oh, my giggles. <laughs> That's what Joycey says. Okay, all done, except for the cornbread. Yummy, yummy. Smell, but the house smells good. Barbara, whatever you do, we like. Okay. Uh, moving on. Give me, everybody give me thumbs. Okay, that's good. And Cheryl says, cool page. <laughs> and Cheryl says, I hear you. Now Cheryl's going to start making rhymes. How many barbers do we have in this group? <laughs> uh, let's see. We do have, we have, we have uh, Barbara Moore and Barbara Batzer. And we got Deborah. I don't know how many barbers we have. Oh, I can, I know how I can check because um, I'm gonna let this dry now. In my address book, I put your names in my address book under your first names because I can't remember everybody's last names off the top of my head. But I know it's, you know, Barbara someone. <laughs> so you're alphabetized. So I go, let me look and see how many Barbers I have. I've got Barb. Barb Filion. 
Barb Moore, Barb Batzer, Barbara Clark, Barbara Chicken Pot Pie. That's four, isn't it? That's about four. We got a lot of Barbaras. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to start gluing some of these down. And then this is a, you know, this is going to go right there on the shoreline. And I'm thinking I can paint that better than that picture. But that's what it is. I'm going to put it down. So I'll put a little bit of glue. I'm all wound up tonight. Got me all wound up. Okay, and the secure art is going up here. Ransom notes. Yep, that's what that means. Now, this little girl, I'm not going to be able to use her because she's just a little, well, no, she's not too tall to go right there. But I'm going to put her over here for the moment, and I'm going to get my spaceship in because we know we want the spaceship. I can put the building over here and the spaceship coming in. Checking everything out. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> what do you call those gadgets the, that they have the, the, uh, the, the, the tree? It's, the, um, it's, a, it's a part of a tree that has a, a Y shape. And they hold it and they walk around looking for water. <laughs> In the old country movies. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do we want the we want the balloon over here no i like the balloon over there can you see me i'm putting it down over here it matches but i can still do the um the the hands and they can meet their rays can meet They have a name for them. Divining rod? Is that what it's called? <gasps> a diving rod? D I V I N I N G. I see. <laughs> so at least I'm not crazy. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, we got the. I think this is a uh, Empire State Building. I have a book on the Empire State Building and how they made it, and how, and and it has all of the um, construction video or pictures in it, and it has men, all the men, and uh, they're up on these big be I beams and doing all this work. I got that book, and that's where that came from. like a little history book of, of how they built the Empire State Building. So this is coming in from from the outers. And this came out of a jewelry catalog. Oversized jewelry. And I am going to put the watch on here. Because that's the main. Uh, that's where the captain sits. Dog alert. <laughs> Eater kicked on. And then I was going to put this right here.
And I'm going to go look for those glasses. I don't think I dropped it. But I think I did drop it. Here it is. It just takes me a minute to stand up. Here we go. Here we go. So, we've had a busy week this week with streaming and the hop and everything. But, uh, the hop, you know, I only had to stream, you know, just for a half hour. But, you know, you have time, you have prep time. And I had to get everything, decide what I wanted to do in my mind, you know. And then, and then I had to wait to come on. And, <laughs> and then I had to do it. And and it went by so fast, it's like it drains you at the end and you just collapse when you get done. It's exciting, you know, and it but it's you know, it's like a job, you know. But we like to do it and we got a big lineup signed already ready for next next month. We've already decided what we're gonna do. So <laughs> I don't know if Mary's going to talk about uh uh talk about it or not. But um, I better let her spill the beans before I do. I don't know if she wants to keep it a keep it uh, keep it a secret. We might as well just keep it a secret for a little while because she might change her mind. So that might, you know. So I might not say it. But it's going to be Valentine's related. I can tell you that much because it's in February. So, hello, everybody. If I haven't said hello to you, Cindy's here. Hi, Cindy. On a feather? Now, what? <laughs> My dad used, oh, the mom told me he was a plumber, but it was two rods that worked best. Okay. Maybe Beth is sitting on a feather. Cindy, you are having a relaxing Sunday. I hope so. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So this is what we have so far. And I'm going to go over some of the other photos that I didn't get to put in. So we're going to save this girl for another day. And all my little things I cut up can be put away. And uh, we'll save these for another time. And I... I think I used, that's everything that I had out. And all the rest of them went over here onto this one. So that's good. Let's see. I thought I didn't have really room for this. I thought it was too big. I could put it right there. Uh, I'm not happy with it. I'll save it. And I can uh, go back into my uh, into my box and see. I do have a ship. I could put the ship on his head. That'll be good. That's what there go. That's what's going to happen right there. And if you want a reservation for this boat, there's a phone number on the boat. It's a riverboat queen. Let's see. Insurance. People. Scraps. Um, 
I might just need to instead of I've since I've already been through the box sort of, maybe I'll give it a break and I'll get this. Uh, I got a new magazine today. I got a triple A living magazine and they have the best pictures in this book and the best sayings on the tops. Hi, Mary Kay. Coffee down paper. Woohoo! Good girl. <laughs> Barbara's singing again. Here she goes. Big wheels keep on turning. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just looking for a few more things. Uh, maybe for, for over here or in this either in this cloud or on top of the mountain. Um I've still got some water down here. If I see a, a whale or something. And I'm just going to flip through this to see. Oh, I did post a picture. Speaking of, look at this. Look at these chocolates. Somebody gifted me some chocolates over Christmas. And we don't know who. And I don't know if it was from you guys or if it was from some family and we didn't get the card or what. Or maybe a neighbor. I could have been a neighbor. could have been somebody from church. It, we have friends. We have lots of family. And we have a whole bunch of you guys. So I don't know. But whoever gave, it, gave the chocolate, uh, it was excellent. It was like... It was like five-star chocolate. It was so good. And it was a Bonnie Pop chocolate. Bonnie and Pop from New York. But the box came from Virginia. The, the original store is from New York. So, but it was this, the box, the tin is in the kitchen. It came with a tin can of chocolate inside this box. And it was such a nice little box. I saved the box. But there was no clue as to who it was from. Um, it was a gift. And it, but it was to Joe Schuler. So it had, it might be family because it didn't have my name on it. So unless you guys were sending him the chocolate. So, which is a, which is a possibility. So I don't know. We don't know. There's a description. Oh, here it is. I have it. It's right here. It was from Josh. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. It was it was it was from some family. I'll tell Joe. But that's the only clue I had. I had to, I couldn't figure I couldn't see anything. Okay, good to know. I'm glad I I'm glad y'all helped me figure that out. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> that was lovely. All right. So, anyway, I'm going to go back to the catalog. That book. Talk about rabbit trail. Gosh. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> oh, my heavens. One of these days. Slippery subject. How much do you know about the oil in your car? Someone exercising. We could put her on there up on this mountain. I don't mind her. I like her. We got this too. Ooh, but that's too big. Oh, it's one or the other. It's one or the other. I saw her first. Would it be after eight? Little chocolate with you after dinner coffee. I'm a detective. Yes, I am. <laughs> Christy's home. Okay. I had a little bit of cabbage tonight then for my dinner too. I steamed vegetables. I love steamed vegetables. So I had some uh, I had some vegetable broth left over from the other night. And so I put it in a pan and I sliced some carrots up in it. 
and celery and a couple of slices slice off of my cabbage head and some broccoli and uh, about two handfuls of spinach and I steamed it and it was good. Okay, so I am I'm going to I'm going to use this girl. I'll try to cut her as close to it as I can. Then maybe I can save the other picture on the back side. I might be able to save it. I got half of them. That's okay. She's got a real skinny leg, that's for sure. Because I can't have them at all. Okay, so I'm finishing up this collage, and then we're going to play a uh, roll of penguin. And I just loved the penguin that we painted the other day. Just loved it. So she's going to be up here on the mountain. I love that. I love it. Perfect. Perfect. She's like she's levitating, you know. Okay, everybody all right? You had your carrots and broccoli with your mac and cheese? Mm -mm. Just found the name. Appalachian Mints or Appalachian Mints. Love your penguin peeping through the ice. Yes, it was so cute. Oh, okay. So this is looking good. This is looking good. Can you think of anything else that it might need? Let me know if you see anything. I'm thinking down here in the water. There's a bridge. Does it need a bridge? You know, I find if I if I just go with the first thing that I see, I have much better results. Just you don't have to look any further. Just go with it. If you see you see something and you said maybe, you know, I said maybe, just go with it. Just go with it and it'll work. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut this little bridge out. And I don't even know where it's from. It probably tell me. It's probably somewhere in Florida. North, maybe. Oh, no, this is not a Florida magazine. It's a, it, it could be anywhere. Um, I have a um, Florida agriculture magazine that I get. And all of the pictures in it are in Florida. And that's what I was thinking of. But this is a triple A. So it could be anywhere. So I'm going to cut this up and this that way and then this down, down this way and then back up and across and down and out. So I'll put this bridge down here in the water and that'll be enough stuff for this book. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, Chrissy, we've missed you too, honey. I'm so glad you started coming back. I know you've been busy and working and everything. Hi, Tammy. So, yep, 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 yep. 
Okay, I'm looking through this magazine just for the last few little pages. See, this will be cute uh, on another page. I'll cut this out and put it in my box. But, like, if, if I didn't have anything down here, you see, we could cut this out. And he's, like, over here looking at the building. And this girl here is pointing at the spaceship, you know. If But I don't have room for it now. Unless I put it over here on top of the, in front of the, uh, the Empire State Building. Would it be too much? <laughs> Gluing pages. Don't have, can't see the chat. Totally understand. So what I'm going to do is just cut this out. I may not use it, but I'm cutting it out. <laughs> cutting it out. Dog alert. He's over there looking at something else. <laughs> Stop her. It's just Joe. I hate it that they do that. I don't know what to do. I told Joe that he should try to, and I know it's hard, you know, for him, but he should whistle for him at the door before he comes in and say, hey, girls, you know, whistle for him and see if they'll come and, and then maybe they'll stop barking at him because they know it's his voice. And, it, and I don't want to really discourage it because what if somebody was at the door? I want them to bark, right? And we did uh, have an incident in our neighborhood last week. Um, we have a lot of homeless down in here in our area. And there's all kinds of... Uh, tent city camps and stuff and uh, there's not too many around around where I live uh, but they're closer to where the stores are and the the gas stations and the convenience stores and stuff that's where they are they're closer to those places so that they can walk and go get something to eat and stuff like that and um, but anyway there was a girl and we have a uh, uh, a lady down the street here. This is where I was going to put this. I think that looks good. I'm going to use it. Um, <clears throat> but we have a lady down the street here. Two doors, for, two doors for me, and we have extra wide lots. We're not next. We're not. You know, we can't see in our neighbors' windows or anything like that. So our neighbor, we've got plenty of room in between the houses. And uh, but there's a there's a lady, and she lives. Uh, uh, on the, on her big double lot, and she's she's got a horse, and so it's kind of like a she's got fen horse fences up and everything, and it's like a farm, you know. It's uh, and and she has a private driveway, and she has to open the gate to, in and out when she comes in and out of her her place. Uh, she opens and closes the gate, and uh, it keeps you know it's just private. Her place is private, and. Uh, I mean, you can see it from the road. I mean, our, you can see where she lives and everything. And you can see the horse barn and stuff like that. And But anyway, she had somebody on the backside of her place was trying to get through. And it, there's a, uh, uh, what do you call when the electric lines go through and, and it's kind of cleared off the... Uh, or the gas, the, I think a poem we called it a gas line, but these are electric lines, and they're the big, they're the big lines, and um, and they cut through her part of her property. They go across our drive, our road, and on over to the next neighborhood. And she was trying to get over to the next neighborhood by taking this shortcut, but it's not a clear cut path. Uh, yes, 
it's clear for the lines, electric lines, but it's all it's all head high brush. And you can't there's not a there's not like a dog path or anything that you can get through it. It's it's all uh, it of course it's clear on on my neighbor's property because she uses the field for her horse. And and it was clear on her her land, but across the road when it goes over into the next neighborhood that clearing is is as high as your head it's not kept clean and 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 it's, there's no dog path to go across that way and she was thinking that she could get over to the next neighborhood but she she needed to get over onto the sidewalk at the end of my road there's a sidewalk and it the sidewalk will take you all the way to where she wanted to go so we were trying to figure out why was she taking why was she going you know through the weeds <laughs> why was she wanting to go through the weeds and um and other than somebody told her that maybe one maybe some maybe somebody did go up through there you know that made it but i wouldn't do it at night <laughs> And it was it was nighttime when she was coming through. So anyway, the the horse girl, she calls Joe and tells him and says, you know, do you know anything about this? And of course we didn't. And and uh, so so it just kind of made us uh, perk our ears up because our our back whole backyard is fenced in, but it's not electric fence or anything like that. It's just a, a the regular uh, galvanized steel fencing you know just a chain link fence is all we have anybody can jump it you know it, it's not and it's not that high i mean it's it's probably three foot or four foot but you could still get over it if you really wanted to it's not there's nothing no spikes on it or anything so anyway we were trying to figure out why this one girl was trying to get over the next neighborhood going through our neighborhood <laughs> And, you know, it was after the New Year's, you know, after the holidays and and uh, and then and then she went on to say, well, maybe she was, you know, a little drunk. And uh, and I said, well, that stands to reason if she wasn't uh, herself. So anyway, this is done. I like it. The secure art. And I, all I have to do is is uh, we'll use the heat gun on this and dry it a little bit. And. uh I'm going to make my lines. Tammy's eating something. What are you eating, Tammy? My youngest son took me to Cracker Barrel. Woohoo! Eating shop on my way home now. Okay. Don't text while you drive. Just listen. So yeah, woohoo! It's Tina's birthday. Oh, I wish Janet was here. Janet would sing to you, Tammy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tammy! <laughs> Jan Janet is our little choir girl. She's she's got a pretty voice. <laughs> Sorry, but you do. You do. So anyway, I'm going to get my ruler and see if I can't draw a few lines from this point. They need to go, they need to go from like, like if I had a, a line up here, like a, a, an antenna, what do you call these, uh, these uh, signals on top of the uh, buildings? And they have like the red lights. Uh, radio signal. Radio. It's a radio signal tower. <laughs> All right, Tammy. Don't be. Don't. Are you? Not, you're not driving, are you? You have no brownies and ice cream. Oh, you got brownies and ice cream at home. Woohoo! Stuff with the. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Tammy. <laughs> So, but these little radio signals uh, on top of the towers, and I think it needs a red dot. Let me find a red pen.
and then we're going to the uh, the spaceship is coming in. You see, and he's he's um, connecting with. Okay, Abby, Abby, come here, baby, come here. I'm going to have to do something with these dogs because they're driving me nuts. Driving me nuts. You're interrupting my show. Nora, you want to come back here? Me and Abby will stay in here for a little bit. Quit your barking. We're not the barkers. No, we're not the barkers. We're the shoelers. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to draw a line from the watch the signal over to the tower and the glue is still wet so we're going to have to wait till it it uh, dries before we can continue so we're going to quit this let it dry and we'll come back to the the drawing the lines and we'll do roll a penguin right now we're right on schedule it's just 7 30 so i'm not complaining So we're going to let this one continue to dry. And I do have my roll of penguin book. So let's let's roll a penguin. Who wants to play roll a penguin with me? They're turned out so cute. I think this one was my favorite so far. And he's all for cute too. And uh, with the snow. And remember we did the texture? <laughs> the texture? <laughs> he's got some snow going on down there. So here we got a new page. Mina wants to play. Mary Kay wants to play. <laughs> Carolina. It's Carolina. Okay. We go to the door check. Then say it's okay. Good job. Good boy. No, no, no more barking. Well, um, that's that's good. I usually do. I say thank you. Good girl. Thank you. Good girls. I do that a lot too um and but joe's been coming in and out of the back door all evening and every time he comes in to get something the dogs bark and they're driving me nuts he should be in here dog sitting that's what it is that's what the problem is <laughs> so anyway we have a if you've never played roll a penguin oh get a piece of paper out you don't have to have you don't have to have what I have. Just a piece of paper and uh, some a notebook, uh, you know, any kind of notebook paper, a, pa a little pad, and a pencil. That's all you really need to start off with. We're going to we're going to play roll a penguin, and what we do is we roll for the body parts. And I had an epiphany. I've thought about. The last time we played this, and I've thought about it a couple of times, and I thought about maybe we should just pick one number, let roll for the number, and go straight across the board one time and see what we get. I think that would be kind of cute. It's kind of a lazy way to do it, but it would be cute. So if you all want to try it, I'm up for it. <laughs> I'm up for it. Cool. Go. All right. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to, we're going to try it one time tonight and see how we like it. So the number is three. So we're going to do all of these in a row. Number three. I do have this posted on my face our facebook group it's at the top of our facebook group so i fixed it uh, so that it, it's back at the top again so the body is like a shield uh it's in a v format and then we've got the head uh is a square head like an ice cube <laughs> but this is the penguin this is the penguin. So we're going to do a shield first with a square head. Okay. So I'm going to make my V kind of big on my paper so that it would fit my paper. And I want to paint my, pic my paper first. I want to paint it. And I like to lay a little bit of paper down on the 
underside of my paper so that it doesn't get the other pages wet. And I'm going to stick with, should I stick with the blues? Uh, a little blue and maybe a little white. <clears throat> My sinus pills uh, are wearing off. Uh, I take a sinus pill in the morning. And uh, it seems to be wearing off. Okay. <laughs> Good night, Janet. Janet's going to bed at 12:30. Okay. She will leave it she'll leave it on, but she'll go to she'll close her eyes and uh, she'll listen to us play <laughs> and then she'll drift off. So, I do the same thing <laughs> sometimes. So, go ahead and close your eyes, Janet, and rest. And she will she will watch this tomorrow. <laughs> she likes to watch me. Oh, we had such a good time. And uh, uh, while I'm painting this page, I'm thinking about it. Um, there's 26 of you in the room. If there's anybody that uh, streams, Janet streams, Mary Kay streams. Uh, Janet uses her name, so you can look, write her name down. Mary Kay, do you um, have a streaming name, or is it your? Is it under Mary Kay Lyons? Um, I don't remember. I'm. I'm. I am uh, subscribed, liked, and support, subscribed to her her channel too. But if anybody else streams or does videos, you can say so, something to uh, right now. And then uh, other girl, the rest of us can write your name down and look, check you out, and come and watch your videos. Good night, Janet. Sweet Janet. Sweet dreams. So I'm going to get the heat gun back out and dry this out. I, I, I do promote other people who stream and do videos. Uh, you're welcome to post your art on, okay, <laughs> yes, you still street, you still stream, I know what you meant, Mary Kay, and uh, she does videos, and she makes things, just like I do, so please go over and subscribe, and you're welcome to post um, post your art in my group. And I don't know if you're in my group or not, but you ought to be in my group, Mary Kay. <laughs> this is my, my uh, Facebook group. And uh, if you go there and ask to join, it's a closed group. If you ask to join, then you can be part of my group and you can post your things in my group. I don't sell. I don't really do any selling, but I do promote people people's channels. Janet's going to bed. Okay. Good night, sweetie. Hi, Angie. How you doing? Just come in to say hi. Are you doing okay this week, Angie? Yeah, yeah, it's a closed group, but you're welcome to come in. And if you make things or if you like to post a, something that interest, interests you or if you would like to see more of something, you could do, you know, whatever you want to post in my art, as long as it's art related. Uh, we don't do any gossip or anything like that kind of stuff. Thank you, Cheryl. There's there's the link to my Facebook group. You have to ask to join and then one of the other girls will accept you. And I've got other girls running the show. <laughs> I just do the art part. <laughs> so anyway, I think it's almost dry. A little bit more, a little bit more dry. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, you're crafting and sewing. Oh, good, Angie. What, what are you sewing? 
in particular, anything in particular? Thank you, Abby. Thank you, girl. No word, just bark. Okay, so now it's dry. Oh, yo-yos. Well, good for you. You know, I made my very first yo-yos this last summer, last year. And I need to make some more of those. Because you can make them in any size, if, if I'm not mistaken. They're just round circles. You sew them around and you pull, pull, them, pull them tight and they turn them over and they're yo-yos. They're kind of easy to make. And they're so cute. They're so cute. So anyway, our number was three. So I'm going to make um, my body and it's going to be like a V. And I'm going to do red. I want to use red. And I'm going to make it the body kind of big on my page so he'll be a good size the only bad part about it is his arms i don't know what we'll do but i'll work it out so anyway here's his ne uh, the neck of his body and then there's another one right inside of it like this and then i'm going to end up coloring this red The, uh, I'm using my magic markers. It's going to look like a superhero, isn't he? It's going to be Super Penguin. <laughs> yeah, you can make flowers with them. You can even sew them together and make a little trivet with yo-yos. Yep. I just like to do too, everything. I just like to do too much. I never, I can't just make one thing. It's my problem. Okay, there's his body. Now the head is is this shape so this was the body and this is the head so the head's going to go on top of the body and i'm going to try to match the ends to this end and so it's it's got to go up to a square and back down and then there is a an insert around his face this is where his face is going to be and this is the top the of his head this is this this is the outer portion of his head like that so here is this is the penguin <laughs> kind of looks like a traffic signal or, or some kind of a uh, a buoy in the water. <laughs> oh my goodness. I chose red, didn't I? I can switch over to black now. We got to do his, uh, his, his beak and his eyes and the hat and the scarf. Oh my gosh, we got so much stuff to put on here. But we're going to do it. We'll, we'll do it somehow. We'll do it. Okay. Everybody with me? <laughs> oh, you had to draw the hat on the side of his head. You're already over to the hat. Okay. <laughs> I'll quit talking. <laughs> Cheryl's already over here. I got his beak and his eyes to do. Uh, I'm going to switch over to some of my other markers. Let's see what I got. Um, I've got more markers than this, but I'm going to do his eyes in blue. 
here's here's his beak, his eyes. If you want to, if you're if you're going along with me, and if you need to see this chart a little bit more, let me know. I'll be glad to hold it up. I could might be able to put it right there. You can see that. This is what we're working on right here. There's the, here's the body, the head, the beak, the eyes, the hat, the scarf, the ice skates, and his wings. And then I'll flip it over for the, the one on the back. There's another one on the back. So I'm going to do his eyes and his beak. And his beak is right here. There's his eyes. And then he's got a hat. And I'm going to make his hat come down to here. And I'm going to color it on top of his head. <laughs> See what it is. Blue and red make a, a kind of a black on here. Okay, and then there's the top part, and I'm just going to make it, <laughs> it I'm going to just make it this tall so it won't go off the page, and I'm going to just, I'll make a design on the top part of it. I'm just going to make some stripes. Just something like that. How about that for his hat? <laughs> and then he's got to have a scarf. Now, a scarf is one of those uh, wraparound scarves. So it's like this. And then it comes down like this. And then, and then, uh, there's a uh, part of his scarf that overlaps the other side. So, let's try this for his scarf. I don't know. Making it up. Making it up as a go. Is everybody okay? <laughs> Cheryl's already done. Woohoo! She's fast. So I want to call her this side over here. I think I'll just use my green. I'll switch over to green. And I can do is skates in green. All right, there's his scarf, and then he's got skates. So uh, I'm going to make his skates like this, I 
I am an artist. I tell you. <laughs> Kindergarten artist. That's more like it. And then he's got his... He's got legs. And then he's got skates. So, something like that. And then he's got uh, his, his arms. And they're going to come down. I'm going to make them go down. And they're fins. They're more like fins than arms. They're swimming fins. They swim. And they do have feathers on their, on their uh, bodies. They, they do have feathers. Penguins have feathers. But they're an aquatic bird. They're, not a, they're a flightless bird. And uh, they live in the Arctic. And they usually have one egg at a time. And the men... The men... Uh, keep the egg and after the women uh, have, uh, have the egg the men keep the egg and sit on the egg until they hatch and they take care of the of the baby something like that so anyway there's my penguin and I tell you I have to admit this is probably the worst one ever <laughs> but it's not over yet <laughs> not over yet <laughs> yeah I don't know if these are skis or ice skates uh, I think they're supposed to be ice skates but the way I've got them written on here they look like skis but we we do both I've made both so whatever whatever hi Carla <laughs> And okay, so there's that one, um, and then there's one more on the back, and this is the objects, and it's number three. It's supposed to be a broom or a sign. So this arm kind of goes up, so he could be holding a little sign over here. So I'm going to get a black marker and make a sign. So what could it be saying? Let's see. Uh, a little sign. It's got to be a little sign. A little sign. And I could probably do it with... Uh, uh, as, uh, one of these kind of Sharpies. And since uh, I saw ski, I'm going to say let's, let's ski. In my sign, since it's, since it's a small area. And this will be my sign. Snow cones for sale. <laughs> so I had just such a tiny spot. I just made it small. <laughs> and uh, um, so that's all I'm going to do. That's what. That's all I'm going to do. Now I can still continue to to uh, do some work down here. Um, let's see. I've got I've got a, a white pen, a white out pen.
see if I can get it to work. Because I want to do uh, some... Some, uh, oh, you know, um, snow type stuff down at the bottom. Okay. There he is. Number three. <laughs> three across the board. Hi, Sue. You're not too late. It's only eight o'clock. <laughs> we got we got a while to go. <laughs> I put some waves at the bottom for snow. I could uh, I could do some I can do more snow if if you want me to. I, I've got my um, my handy dandy uh, gesso here. <laughs> it makes good snow. <laughs> I can make some more snow. And I can use this. Oh, this is cute. This is different. Look at this. Okay, there we go. And I all I have to do is rinse this out. And I can use it again if it if I don't let it dry. And I've got some clean water over here, so I'll just drop it in the water. And when I change my water out, I'll I'll wash it. I'll wash all the white out. <laughs> oh, it's still wet. Thank you, Sue. It's still wet, and I've got some of this. Mm-hmm. Good idea. Good idea. So I'm just gonna let that dry on there. Look at the look how it glistens. <gasps> wow, that's cool. <laughs> that is cool. Love it. Okay, uh, I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll tap it off into the garbage can. What's let on? Um, you know what's loose. Wow, cool. It's pretty much staying on there, too. Okay, I'm just going to let this over to dry. I need some snow in the air, though. Got to have some snow in the air. Yeah. Let's see what we can find for snow in the air. I think Brittany gave me some snowflakes. Let's see if I can find them. I've got a little dish here I'll use.
see what we can find. I do have some googly eyes. Does he need googly eyes? <gasps> Excuse me, I got the hiccups. I think he needs those googly eyes too. I found some snowflakes. I sure did. I found one snowflake. I found one. Where there's one, there's got to be two. Well, these aren't snowflakes, but they might pass for snowflakes. They're round. And I could probably use the silver ones. another one we can come up with some snowflakes there's some blue ones around here I just haven't seen them yet snowflakes they're shaped like snowflakes there's one that's what I'm looking for those and I know there's more in here. Get some of the big ones out of the way <laughs> so I can find the ones underneath. Uh. Well, Christy, um, it on the uh, penguin roll, you get to do, you can do it. It's real easy. It's number three across the board. So you find uh, on the front of my in the front of my uh, Facebook group on the very top is this chart. This is the penguin chart. And number three, we went straight across the board on number three. So so, so all, all of them were number threes. And that's what we came up with. So you can still do it. She's got her cabbage rolls in the oven, though. Well, that's good. That's good. You can still do it, Christy. Come on. You can still play. i am just got a big idea. I knew I had some snowflakes. There's another one. So I'm looking for these little snowflakes uh, in here. To uh, glue down. It'll be easier to glue them all down once, once I get them. They're uh, in the bottom of my sequin <laughs> box. <laughs> so I got to hunt for them, but, but that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind hunting for them. We got time. Time to look. I just thought there were more of them around. That would be easier to find, but they're few and far between. But that's okay. 
we can do it. I've got a lot of clear ones. I guess I need to get those out. I could use those. They're, uh, believe it or not, they are translucent sequins. Um, and they, they, they are iridescent looking. And there's several sizes of them. So I could use those. Sure. Why not? So let me go ahead and get just a few more out of these guys. And I'll glue them down. And then we can move on. And between all of, there's like three or four different styles of sequins on here. So between all of them, it'll be a nice little snow scene. Yeah, that'll work. Little ones and big ones and white ones and blue ones. I think that's enough. That's all we're going to do. Okay. That's good. Got a few little bags here. Put these away. My sequins. I got buttons and sequins. And then I got a new one that has bows and flowers in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tacky glue. And I'm just going to put a few dots down for these little snowflakes coming down here they go there's one there there's one there There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. And we're coming down the pipe. The pike. There we go. Skiing. In the snow flurries. Like that. Can you see them? Let me hold the book up. So we got a few little snowflakes going around there. So we got some snow on the ground. Let's ski. I think he's cute. I'm done. Uh, Beth, does anyone stream tomorrow? I put in 61 hours this week and I want to play. Good girl. Yes. Uh, Tanya will be on tomorrow. Um, uh, Lisa... Is Lisa going to come on with her on Sunday? Uh, Tanya will be on uh, 12 o'clock Central Time, 1 o'clock Eastern Time. And share, uh, uh, Lisa has been, they've been doing, they've been working together lately. So I don't know if she comes on with her on Sundays, but they do Tuesdays and Thursdays together sometimes too. So, and then Mary will come on tomorrow night, on Sunday night. For sure, too. She, she'll she come on in, uh, I don't know, about 6.30. Uh, and then you can watch me in between. <laughs> if you get this, but you could, I've, I've been doing uh, Saturdays. 
in 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 the month of January, Saturdays have been um, my roll of penguin penguins, and I've done I've done three of them so far. One on the twentieth, uh, one on the January the second. This was twelve twenty, and this um. I'm sorry, it was in December 2020. I don't know what, uh, we made this chart up and then we played it. <laughs> and then we started playing it on Saturdays and uh, we did it on the 2nd and then tonight and it's the 9th. We, we're going to do Roll of Penguins on Saturday night. My hubby said I had to leave the room so he could watch his TV shows. <laughs> Mary Kay, all I can say is earbuds. <laughs> earbuds. I use my earbuds all the time. <laughs> oh, I think Mary naps. I think she's like me. I think she I think we just nap around. We don't sleep. We nap. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Christy from the hop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, reverse collages. Yep, yep. And then earlier tonight, we did a couple of collages before you got here. Uh, I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to sit it over here, and I'll show you what we did earlier. This is a reverse collage in the art book. So you don't have to have a big book uh, to do your reverse collaging in. You can do it, just do an art page with clippings. Um, I didn't, I didn't use any other, anything but, but new, uh, magazine clippings. And I even made my own sign up. So that turned out cute. That turned out real cute. And then we also did tonight, we did this one and we're going to bring it back so we can finish it up. I've got to make my, uh, my, my. What do you call the lasers? I gotta make some laser lights, <laughs> some laser beams. Uh, my laser beams. I need to get on here. So I've decided I'm, I've got a clock here and a clock here. So I'm going to, uh, and I'm gonna. They're all going to be shooting towards the the building, the Empire Empire State Building. And um, they're going to be all tuned into the radio signal over here. And that way they can communicate. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That way they can communicate. And I was using a black Sharpie, but I guess I could use uh, a whiteout pen too. My whiteout pen and do a white laser. Why not? Sure. So let me see if I can get it working here. So it's going to go from here to here. That's all right. And then from here to here. Okay, I like it so far. So far. There's Nora. She's trying to get my door open. So... It's hard to work with tools that don't work. So. 
So I'm trying, but I'm not having any luck. Make a shiny beam on top. Hi, Ellen. How do I do that? How do I make a shiny beam on top? Shiny beam on top. I've got a glitter pen. Would a glitter pen work? I'm new to this stuff. Hi, Sandra. Yes, this is kind of reverse collage. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, we um we try <laughs> we try to do reverse collage and we use we used a, 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 a book, a picture book, and we added our images, and you can do anything you want if you can draw, paint. Uh, but we did gluing. We just glued we glued down pictures and things from magazines. It's kind of like uh, what I like to do. But welcome. Welcome, Sandra and Ellen. So um, uh, I love it when you all suggest things to do. <laughs> so that's great. Now I'm trying to think if, uh, see, she's pointing up and he's over here looking. So I got the two beams going. Um, I can try a gel pen. I do have some gel markers. Uh, I've got a silver marker, gel marker. How about that? Oh, you want maybe a sequin? He, oh, you know what? I just was just looking over here, and there was a red sequence that came out of my box, and it was laying right here. <laughs> wonder what happened to it. Uh, it was a red sequence. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Here it is. I've got a red sequence. And I'm going to put it right there. I have a red dot. And this would be so much better. Oh my gosh. Can you see it now? Oh yeah, it makes it so much better. Well, it's more of an altered, it's more altered, uh, Sandra. Um, it's a nickname for it. Uh, Dee Dee Willingham started um, doing these a long time ago, and she would paint some of the picture out. And I liked the picture. I liked the clouds and the, and this is the Arctic mountains uh, of the Arctics and then the water. And instead of painting it out, I left it because it was it was it didn't have anything on the picture. But uh, Dee Dee would she would blacken the sky and and turn it into an outer space, and then you add more things back to it to make it an, another storybook, you know, to make another story to it. So um, uh, that's it's just a nickname, and it's more altered uh, pages than reverse collaging. And we've been doing it for a couple of years. <laughs> so welcome, you newcomers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and we just we just try to make it goofy looking. And and like, see, I got this piece of jewelry. It's a large piece of jewelry, and I've turned it into a spaceship. So I'm altered this page, you know. And it and it's and then I've got the Empire State Building in here, and people are looking around. I got I got a cruise ship. So uh, there you go. That's the best explanation I can give you. <laughs> but if you really want to see some really good, then you go look up Dee Dee Willingham, and she's got uh, videos, um, lots of videos of reverse collaging, is what she calls it, reverse collage, and. Um, 
And I can show you a couple of more pictures as soon as this dries. Uh, I can show you uh, some pictures that I did earlier this week. If I lay my, my wax paper down so it doesn't stick, I can, do, I can show you what I did earlier this week. Hi, Melissa. Hi, honey. So we did this one last night. And this is a this is what we call a reverse collage, and it was a winter scene, and I used it as the background, and I made a new world on top of it, and it's a vacation. <laughs> I used paper dolls as my uh, inspiration uh, for that not for last night. It was an inspiration to use paper dolls, and these are old dolls uh, from an old paper doll book that I had, and. Then I added all the other pictures that I had. There's my Facebook group if you're interested in 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 uh, seeing some things on it. Okay, you've seen Dee Dee's artwork. She's awesome. She's awesome. She's my inspiration. She's my hero. She's one of my heroes. And uh, and 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 I would say between her and Cat Hand and Shannon Green and some of the other big girls that stream that have streamed for years. They're they're the ones who sort of I started following and I would I had been doing their art on my own here. And and then one day my husband bought me a camera and said, You can do it too. You know, and he he seemed to, and and he was right. I've been doing it ever since and haven't looked back not one time. <laughs> so I've been streaming for it'll be two years in March and I've been streaming three days a week and I think I've only missed one or two weeks one or two days out of that and I slept overslept once <laughs> didn't I Cheryl <laughs> I was sleeping and she kept pinging me on my phone and says when are you coming on are you coming on <laughs> where are you <laughs> and I go oh Oh my gosh, I overslept. And it was in the evening. I was napping. <laughs> oh, wow. We've had some good times. So anyway, and then and then the night before that, uh, this was Friday night. And then Thursday night, we did this. This is a, a true reverse collage as well. Only I painted instead of glued. I painted it. And this is a, uh, a seabed of ice. And I've been I've been looking at this book and I, and and all of the pictures are real, and I can't tell if this one's real or not. It I, looks like it's real, but yet it doesn't look like it's real. But it's it's a page of ice, and I think it's real. But anyway, this little guy's coming up out of the ice because <laughs> that's where he lives. Yes. He is a nice husband. And he comes in here. His name's Joe. He comes in. He's my sidekick. But he's outside right now. He's still outside. No, the lights are off. So he's back in. He's in the living room watching TV. So, um, and then, and then, uh, this was, this was uh, Thursday. And then Tuesday, there's another reverse collage. Or was this, we meant, this was on the second. So this was a week ago. Uh, and and this was the two polar bears, and uh, we started this book in January, and um, and you can use any kind of a book, or you can even use your art book, your plain art, you know, plain art paper book, and do a collage in this. You don't have to have the book to do this, and I demonstrated that tonight by doing uh, a page in here, and then I did a page on here. So that's proof. That you don't need the book, and uh, but but I had gotten this book uh, at the secondhand store earlier this year, last year, later last year, and um, and everybody said let's do the reverse collage in it, and we did, so we're doing it. So, but um, but anyway, we started out with the, having the coke, and uh, and then I just had some clippings that I had gathered and and collected. And cut some things out of some magazines and boom, a collage was made. <laughs> Tammy says her phone's dying. Okay, honey. Bye. Bye, Tammy. See you later. Take care. 
she'll watch until her phone dies off. <laughs> so, uh, but it's 8.30. We're doing good on time. Teresa says bedtime. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl said sofa time. <laughs> and she, and then Teresa said bedtime. And she laughed at Cheryl because Cheryl's going to the couch. And she, Cheryl always falls asleep on the couch. <laughs> but that's okay, Cheryl. You go right ahead. Yes. I'm doing good on time tonight. But my new format is... Uh, you know, doing a variety of things. And so on Tuesdays, I'm doing a international blue book. I'm doing it of the UK. And I'm also doing Mandela Madness. And we're doing, we're making the round mandalas, doodlings, and tangle things. And we're doing that on Tuesdays. And I love that. I don't want to change it. I want to keep that. And then on Thursdays, when I stream, we're doing the paint along, which is this. This is a paint along and anybody can paint this. You can paint it in your art book. You don't have to paint it in, you know, in the, in a book if you don't want to. And then we're doing a felting project. And if you don't know anything about felting, uh, go to my January videos of last year. They all have felting in the title and they were all of them in January have felting on all of my videos. And uh, so you will be able to, to uh to learn about felting there's joe hi ladies oh he brought me a little snack he, he gave me some snacks i shoot i can't i can't calm down as it is now i'm i'm i've been drinking this i've been drinking a coke this is my <laughs> second one too oh my. this one's half coke and sprite oh <laughs> So anyway, on Thursdays, I'm doing painting along. I don't think you. Uh, this is the paint along. I'm doing the felting. And then we're doing a coloring book. Um, and it's it's um, a, a, a Japan themed coloring book that we're working on on Thursdays. So then on Saturdays, uh, I'm doing the pink roll of penguin, which we just did the, the game a minute ago. And we, we played a game and made this little guy. And we, we do cute ones. And then um, and then we're doing the reverse collage in here. So we're doing great on time tonight. And um, so you can see how, how reverse collaging, it's more just collaging. It's, it, you're just collaging, gluing. It's just glue, cut and glue. And it's, it's just gluing. So, so anyway, that's what we're kind of doing, and um, and and we just make up funny pages, and it's just for fun, and it's it doesn't take you don't have to think, you just do it. <laughs> you don't have to think too much. So I love this. I love this. This is probably my favorite. This is this is awful good too. This is one of my favorites too. <laughs> Everything's going to be my favorite. But what we did tonight is back here. Let's see if I can find it again. Here it is. So this is what we did tonight. So, and I think I'm done. I think I'm done with it. Unless you all can think of something else that you think it might need. Um. <laughs> let Beth do all the thinking oh no don't let me do all the thinking <laughs> so anyway it's it's um uh oh okay Mina posted her penguin and I bet you nickel Cheryl did too let's see here let's just see here's Cheryl's oh there's her penguin <laughs> everybody always comes up with so many cool things um they really you really do i love it let's go over here and see what else 
So if you do any art, I'd like for you to post it in my fa in our Facebook group. And if you and if you don't know where that is, you go here to our Facebook group. And I love for everybody to post their art. Now here's Mina's and it says beginner slope. <laughs> He's cute. I don't care. He's cute. Looks like a starfish. <laughs> Thank you, Mina. Very nice. And here's, uh, oh, I showed you Cheryl's. Okay. Mina and Cheryl. And uh, some of the girls will do theirs. Uh, uh, they'll do theirs tomorrow or, or the next day. And, they, and you don't have to do them all the same time I do mine. You can do yours and post it later. Oh, she had hot chocolate after dinner. Cheryl had hot chocolate and the caffeine kept her awake. So no more. So no more hot chocolate for you, kid. Okay. Yeah. Mary Casey should do hers later. And that's fine. You're you're more than welcome to do it at any time. And and all you have to do is look at this chart. And there's the chart. And uh, tonight we did three across the board just for fun. So, uh, so I, and I will post, I will take a picture of mine and I usually put the number down here. So we did, we did three. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture and that way I'll have it camera. And, uh, I'll post all my artwork too. I always do. Or I try to, <laughs> I usually remember to do it. And uh, I think this looks pretty good. I, I can't think of anything else to do if, unless somebody else can help me. Uh, I don't know of anything else that I need to do on this. Um, I think it's fine. Yep, it's cute. And, uh, and, and uh, I, you know, I was talking last night. Uh, we had an art hop last night. Mary Altier um, organized it, and, and she has several of them a month, every month. Um, and if you don't know who the Mary Altier is, you need to look her up. And um, and uh, she does a lot of lot of stuff. And she streams. She usually streams about three or four times a week too. And she likes to stream early in the morning sometimes. And then on uh, Friday nights, we've been doing some hops. And so she's been streaming all day Friday. And then she streams Sunday night. And then she comes on early in the mornings a couple of times a week. Do you have pictures of the other players collage? Um, on this one here? No, not yet. If, if anybody plays along... I encourage them to post it in the in the uh, in my Facebook group. I know that there's there's about ten girls that have gotten this book, and I thought they were you know going to be playing along, but they might be going at their own pace, which is fine. Uh, you don't have to do it when I do it. You can do what you want to do, you know, in your book. Um, but I decided I'm going to you know try to do lots of things in here um this month all month long and i might uh i might switch to doing my penguin roll in here um because if if i did penguin well he's he's kind he's growing on me but he's not my favorite but like this guy here he's my he's one of my favorites because it was the first one we did but if i had a a picture of um uh like this, and then did my penguin over here, you know, uh, it would, it would be cute. Oh, right here. <laughs> Cheryl's waiting on the book. Yeah. I ordered a, a book for Cheryl and Teresa and Mina, and I ordered them from Canada and they're still not here. I ordered them back in December. So I don't know how long it'll take them to get here if they get here. 
So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I'm thinking about doing the, this in here and we, we're doing the, and then we'll be using the book um, two other times throughout the week because we're doing the paint along and the reverse collage and then the penguin roll in here. We have enough pages to do, to do that. Um, there's lots of, you know, there's lots of things that we can add to and see, this would be a great background page for any kind of reverse collage or paint along for that matter. And, um, but some of the ice scenes, uh, I've got several pictures of some penguins and, uh, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to be doing more penguins, more, more pictures of penguins. No, Melissa, I they no, I did not get one for you. I don't. I uh, I ordered some and they haven't come in. And uh, uh, there's other ones on the internet for like twenty dollars a piece. And uh, you know, if you want to order one for yourself, but you don't have to. I showed you tonight that all you need is an art book. You can do your collages right here. You don't have to have this book. I got this at a secondhand store for four dollars. So you can, you know, if you can go to a secondhand store and find you a book, you know, for four dollars, that would be my my uh, loving suggestion to do. And uh, just to show you, these are some of the other things that we've done. Um, in this book starting in uh, September of last year we 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 did the all of these pictures and all of these uh, art pages and games we we been we used to play bingo and we will bring bingo back again sometimes sometime in the near future we will be doing bingo again because we like to play games and this was done with a bingo game and we play bingo. We do two games. At, uh, we play two games at the same time. We do the the card with bingo numbers on it, and we play for uh, prizes. And then and then we do prompts with them, and we do the art with it. So we do two games in the ones. Oh, Barbara, um, I don't know exactly. I couldn't tell you. I, I couldn't tell you right at this moment. Um, it was a, it was a, from a used bookstore and it was online. So I, I don't have that information in front of me, but these are some of the things we've done. We've done pencils. This is done with pencils. I'd like to do some more pencil work. These are some paintings that we did together online together and, uh, Everybody likes to watch me paint. I'm not a professional painter or a, uh, I've never had any art lessons. So I'm a self-taught painter, art, artist, or I'm a crafter. Let's just face it, guys. I'm just a crafter. <laughs> I love to craft. I do love to do mixed media. And, um, and then when I do a painting like here, I, I usually come back a, a day or two later and I do something over here to match. <laughs> For fun and this is just glue uh gluing down pages from from my uh, out of magazines <laughs> i'm a professional beth that's right i i am professional beth <laughs> but uh, we have a lot of fun and you know one of the main things that i think that um uh, is one of my best qualities if i had to say anything about uh, you know, what would be one of my good qualities? And I think it's trying, just trying it. Whether you, whether you think you're, you, you can do it or not, just try it. And, and the more you try, the better it gets and the more fun. And in, then doing it with you guys, it even makes it much more funner. If there's ever a word, funner would be my, one of my words. <laughs> Here's the lovebirds. And some of the girls um, 
in here, they suggest, you know, they'd like for me to do this or they'd like for me to do something, you know, and I try to do things. I try to do what everybody says, but I come up with enough stuff all by myself. <laughs> come up with plenty of stuff. And January is a full docket. I'm doing, I stream in three days a week and I'm doing two and three projects each time. So, so these are just some of the things that I do. And then this one here is one of my, one of the girls that come in here and, and play with me is Becca, uh, Aunt Beck, Aunt Beck Creations. And she streams and she painted her bird along with me. I posted the picture or I had the picture. I posted it on my Facebook group and then everybody paints it with me. And some of the girls paint along and some don't. Whatever you want to do. And this is just a, another collage with um, some uh, painting papers that somebody sent me in Happy Mail and I turned it into a, a turtle. And a lot of these, we, I get my pictures off the internet and 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 I, and I try to, you know, I try to paint it too. So I have pictures, real pictures of this. And there is a real blue tree. <laughs> Google it. There's a real blue tree. And this was a, this was a picture that came up uh, around March. And it was, you know, the full leaf clover. And I just, you know, I just painted it. I just, you know, it just, it's kind of whimsical kindergarten style painting but i love doing it <laughs> thank you mary Kay. thank you <laughs> i think i'm brave <laughs> thank you carla <laughs> and this one was my worst one ever if i had to pick the worst thing that i have done this would be the one <laughs> but it turned out pretty cool i have to say <laughs> from a distance but when you look up real close to it, well, what happened is my art supplies turned out to be cruddy. <laughs> I used I used <laughs> puffy paint <laughs> on this. I used puffy paint that I got out of a yard sale, and I think it was free. I don't, I don't think I had to pay for it. And the puffy paint didn't dry, so it stuck to the page over here. And when I pulled it off, it took the paper from this page. So then I cut, then I put this picture down to cover that mess up. <laughs> and I poured off all the little pieces of paper. This is paper. All of this is paper over here. So it's an original. It is an original. Yeah, sometimes we do ACT cards, Barbara. We do. We've had ACT trays. We've had napkin trades. We've had tissue paper stamping trades. We what other kind of trades? We did um, coins, artist trading coin trades. Uh, it's about time to do another trade, isn't it? I t I was going to take January off, and uh, <laughs> but it pulled off the paper from the other page. This is all paper. <laughs> Anyway, it was fun. And and then the original print, it had these little people up here on top of the O. And uh, I did that with a, a, a jelly roll pen. That was back in September. But now here's one that I love. Here's one that I love. This one, this one is, this one makes up for the other one. And this is uh, what I would call whimsical. And, I'm, and I've got several whimsical pages coming up next. And this is the start of them. Um, I think I do well in this style. And uh, so I try to find things that I can do in a whimsical setting. And I've got another art book um, in the on the shelf over there that has more whimsical things. And we did a painting. Um, we went through a book that was painting step by step together and I think we did all but three of the of the pictures in that entire book we went through the whole book together online and we kept painting and painting and painting and we loved I loved it I loved painting the books and it was each step was set out you know it said okay 
paint your background and then it said paint your sun paint your moon and then it said paint your tree then it said paint the leaves it told us which what to do next and um and after a while i quit reading it and i just started looking at the pictures and said okay it looks like they've done this here and that there and and that's how we do it we just we just paint <laughs> it says uh Oh, Mary Kay is going to post her coffee dyed paper. Great. We'd love to see your coffee dyed paper. Love whimsical. Love that tree too. How about making small squares out of material kind of like an ACT card size? Are you talking about inches and twinchies, Barbara, by any chance? Uh, little squares out of material kind of like an ATC card size. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know that we've done inches or twinchies in here, but I have done them before. Hi, Allie. Hi, guys. I don't visit here much these days. I need something to occupy my mind. Well, welcome back, my Allie. Welcome back, honey. Did Beth already do the penguin roll? Yes, I did. And he turned out real cute. Wherever he is, here he is. And Allie, uh, what we did tonight was we rolled at one time, and then we went we rolled a number three, and we went straight across the board. So you still have time to do it. And here's mine. And of course, we added glitter. Added snow glitter. Okay, that's what we did there. So you can catch up. You can you can play catch up. And then here we did uh, we did a re this is a negative space cat. Uh, Cheryl <laughs> Cheryl sort of got me hooked up onto this one. Oh, Cheryl posted some pictures in the group of paintings I've done with Beth. Okay, she wants me to watch so and then then we did a, a pickup truck for the fall. And some of the girls, you know, do a lot with me. So the, here's her cat. Here is her cat and here is my cat. So I posted a picture on the Facebook the night we did this and then we all imitated it yes it is Allie it's at the very top of the group it's at the very top announcement I just refreshed it tonight so it should be right on top and let's see what else Cheryl has and here's her love birds And we named him Candy. The little girl was Candy. And the boy was named Cotton. For Cotton Candy. Mm-hmm. And here's a Picasso cat. And that was another game we used to play. Uh, roll a penguin. We did roll a Picasso uh, last year. And here's her... Peacock. We painted a peacock one night. So we've done a lot of things together. Well, I've, like I said, I, it'll be two years in March. Uh, so, okay, let me see what, what you got here. Some of the other girls have posted some things. So there's the penguin roll. It's at the very top of the group. Here's here's the uh, Nettie's penguin. Oh, how cute! Did you put buttons on there? Are those buttons or sequins? They're sequins. Okay, you put some sequins on there. <laughs> I love snow. He's cute. Thank you, Nettie. Thank you, honey. Very nice. Me, 
mean is okay then i think i'm up to i'm up to par okay i'm on top of everything so anyway um there's the truck we did a wheelbarrow we did a lady in the forest and these these are all paint alongs i posted the um pictures the same day that i painted them and i use a picture to paint you know to go by to uh, i look at a picture and i paint it and uh and here's a here's a sunset we did this was back in november and on this side is just a napkin i didn't paint that there's a lot of napkins over here and then we did the turkey and see it's whimsical and he's cute we did good and then we did a, I did a cornucopia. This was this was a challenge, and I am so glad I tried it because the next time I do a cornucopia, I know that I can at least do this good. If I can do this good every time, I'm satisfied. But I I, I did really good on the pumpkin and the fruit and the and the flowers, you know. And then I had to make the cornucopia. It was very they're they're hard to do. It's a hard picture to do. And then this was fun. These I made. Uh, he's a little uh, paper doll that I made, and I made them online, and then I gave them away. <laughs> it was, we were hooked on those for a while. I guess we could get back into them. I I, I don't. I guess I can make pe uh, penguins and give penguins away for January, and then February we can do something with the hearts, and then in March we can do uh, a leprechaun. <laughs> but anyway, I had I had strings on these, and then of course all through December we did ornaments, and we did um, uh, elves, Santa Claus, and Mrs. Claus, and we did uh, snowmen. Did we do snowmen? I don't remember now. We did gingerbread men and Santa Claus and the elves <laughs> and now this this is done with uh, magicals it's a type of pigment and you um you play you play with water and spray the water down and you spray and you sprinkle the pigment down and the and the pig, pigment just takes over it's a type of ink and powder form and you make these really cool papers and then i tore the papers up and made a flower out of them Oh, the sunset would be fun felting. The, with the black tree, with the tree silhouette. Okay, okay. It would be. It would be easy with the stripes and then doing the black. You're right, it would be. Now, we're doing our felting projects. If you, if you don't know anything about felting, Go back to my January of last year videos. All of the January videos, I did felting for the entire month. I did a whole program on felting. I talked about where I got my stuff. I talked about the needles and I explained about the materials needed to do the projects and the different types of projects that you can do with felting because it's not only done with a, with a, a special needle, a barbed needle, it's also, you can do wet felting. And this is the needle that you use to do felting with. And um, it's, a, it's an ancient art. And there are lots and lots of videos on felting. This is a napkin. These are napkins. This is a napkin. <laughs> on the opposite pages, a lot of them are napkins. And I've started... Um, you know, I have a napkin collection. So, uh, and we did do a napkin exchange last year, which was fun, by the way. And uh, we traded napkins with each other. And and I tried to match a napkin to the page. And I found, and I was always able to find one. This is a napkin. And uh, so this is one way of using my napkins up. Instead of having a blank page with nothing on it, I, I tried to do some kind of art on my own on my day off over here. 
and uh, this, even if it was a magazine clipping, and this was out of a kid's book, you know, but I liked the colors of it and it was outdoorsy. So it went down. This is a collage of napkins, stamps, and and a, and a quote. This is a scrapbooking paper, leftover paper, uh, and some cutouts and a, a quote. And these came out of a woman's a woman's clothing catalog. Yes, we did tags of cats with napkins. We sure did. We did a whole session on that. We've done so much stuff. It's 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 amazing. It's amazing. And um, and I keep going back to this book here because it's it's the, my current book. But the next book I get, um, I do have time to get another book out since we're done with our collage. Let me finish this one. We did this in December. Um, <clears throat> these are napkins. This is napkin art and happy mail. Uh, people sent me things in, in, in envelopes and I would do a happy mail page. And uh, this was with another person that streams. It's create with Becca. Um, and, I, and I did that with another streamer. And then this was something I did back in 2018 and I found it. And I just glued it down for safekeeping. And that's really kind of all I've done in here. Uh, last week we did, we were working on mandala man, madness, mandalas and doodling. And we did, we did these two things last Tuesday and we're going to do them again next week. Next Tuesday, we're going to finish up with where we started on these uh, for sure. And then this is what we did tonight. And then and then last week, um, Tuesday and Thursday, I can't remember, we did these. And these are chain pulls. I do a lot of art in here, guys. Lots and lots of art. Uh, but this was done with a ball chain. Um, like a, a fan pull that you use in, on your fans. And uh, and this, you dip it in paint and you drag it on your paper to make things, flowers, and uh, some are leaves, some are feathers. I mean, not leaves. And we did all of these last week, and they turned out really cute. So I'm going to probably put them in as a tip in, uh, uh, probably before the mandalas. I'll probably do it over here. And you see, this is a blank page. And I will probably glue a napkin down here. Or I could go ahead and start putting these in. I can put maybe make a little booklet and put these down in my book. Because we did these. Aren't they cute? I think this one's the prettiest. So, uh, yeah. Some of our artwork. We keep all our art. <laughs> So anyway, um, so let's see what where we did this tonight and I'm done with this. I just need it's dry now. So I'm going to go ahead and date it and sign it. And it is January the 9th. And one of the things that uh, I... I do now is I sign I sign and date my art. I didn't always used to do that. Uh, I need to sign and date these since they're going in my book. And these were done last week. Uh, Tuesdays it was either Tuesday or Thursday or both because we we started we did all the leaves. I mean, the feathers, we did all of these on Tuesday, and then we did these on Thursday, didn't we? And here's my feathers. So I will use these in my art uh, and stuff. I, I will, I will, you know, I'll, I'll probably put these in my little collage box so I can use them. I don't know, Teresa. That's why I'm here, so you can art with me. 
she says, how do I, how can my mind goes blank when I need to art, make a piece of art? Because you're supposed to do it with me. <laughs> so anyway, let's see. I have to go back to my calendar. It would be uh, the 5th and the 7th. Okay. And uh, some of the things that I didn't do when I when I first started doing my art, I never dated it, you know, because it was just me doing it here by myself. And I never thought I thought, well, I can remember when I did that. <laughs> no, you can't. Not not here now now, because we do we stream because I stream three times a week, and uh, it's very difficult to remember the date that you do stuff. And I can always go back onto my films on my videos. And uh, so anyway, a good way to put this in is to do tip-ins. And while I'm here, I can show you how to do a tip-in. <laughs> Rabbit trail. We got time. I'm not doing anything. So I go in here and I look for some tape. Tape that I want to use. I don't know. I'm going to use this. And uh, this is just washi tape. And uh, I'm just going to turn this over to there. And I'm going to tape it down to the page. And it comes, turns into a, a tip in. <laughs> Just make up your own. Like that. Okay. So it will, it, you know, it'll move. It'll stay, it'll stay there. It's with washi tape. Now, if you want, you can put another little piece of tape on this side. I do have some clear tape I can try. Let's try a piece of this. And you would put it down on your page to hold this side. So there it is. I've added a page. And I'm just going to piggyback this one behind that one. And it is the same size of this page. So, and I'm going to switch over to this clear tape because it is stickier than the washi tape. And I won't have to. I might not have to uh, put any more tape on it. Let's see if it'll work. It should stick pretty good without me having to tape it again. And then there's another page just the same size. So I'm going to put it right here on the back of it. With a piece of scotch tape. Like that. And then I got another one. So I'm going to do the same thing. So this way I can keep my papers in this book. And uh, if I'm bored tomorrow and I want something to do, I'll come in here and glue a napkin on the back. Just for fun. <laughs> because that's what I do. But now I've got these in here that we did. And I probably, I should, I could put chain pulls um, 
although I'll know, but maybe somebody else won't know if they're looking at this book. And you can also do it with a piece of yarn if you don't have uh, if you don't have this uh, this type of chain. You can get this at at the hardware stores. And uh, so that's all it is, you know, stuff from the hardware store. So there's that. And and so we're done. We're done with this book for tonight. We dated. We got that dated. I think I took a picture of it. I just need to post it. Would love to see you using the pearls for paint pull. Oh, we talked about that, Cheryl, didn't we? Um, I'll have to get my, I have, I've got some of those uh, New Orleans pearls. And I don't know where we got them at, where I got it at. It was, it was in a box or something that I had. Um, and, um, and they're bigger, they're a bigger size than this, than this, than these, they're bigger pearls and they're cost, they're costume jewelry, you know, and she wanted me, and we were talking about that one day that we, I might have to do some pulls with them just to, uh, see what it did. So, yeah, I'll have to think about that now that I've. I'm, we've done we've done it and i've done those before you know it was just something uh, it was a throwback <laughs> i guess uh oh i was going to check to see if i got this in in a picture and i do so i did that i think i can go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and post them so that I can get it out of the way. There's the penguin. And there's this one. And then there's those. Okay. There it goes. If I do it right now, I won't forget to do it after a while. Sometimes I, when I get off, I'm so tired, uh, I just kind of crash and I forget to do it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what is the name of the craft where you use several pictures of the same thing and you fussy cut and scratch? Scratch. Use several pictures of the same thing and you fussy cut. Is it are you talking about if you fussy cut the same picture out and you and you layer it and make it 3D? That's a good question, Ellen. We'll find out. I've used to do that with the uh, Holly Hobble, Holly Hobble things, pictures and cards and things. And you make, you stack them up and you cut out the different layers. I need more information. Um, but anyway, since it's just nine o'clock and I'm done with this. Okay. Um, well, I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure if it has a name or not. I'll have to add, I'll have to investigate. But I've done it's like 3D. And then you and then uh, I've done it before when I was a kid. So anyway, I'm going to I'm going to close this book up and I'm going to go get another uh, an old scrapbook that you all haven't seen in a long time. I'm tired of looking at this one. I need another one. <laughs> I'm going to put my glue lid on my glue. But uh, for you new girls coming in, just keep coming back and, and you know, ask questions. And we, we, will, we will search them out, the answers together. We'll find them. We'll find the answers. Um, let me see. 
Got a bunch of books over here. This one goes back to 2017. And this one goes back to 18, 20. These are, these are Jan, uh, April of 20. So let's go with the oldest one and see. But th this is where we started doing all the animals in, in 20, 2020. Uh, because we've got the bears and the lion. <laughs> They're fun. Here's the polar bear. Here's Ozzy. And I think I've improved. Uh, maybe I'm not. I don't know. But this would go back to 2017. And these are. Uh, some of them are prompts. Hi, Barbara. It just 3D photos, layered free, layered 3D photos. Thank you, Barb. See how everybody helps me out in here? Great. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can do that in these books, but it would it's kind of hard because um, you know it would get smashed, you know, in this book. It'd be kind of hard to do. But uh, it can still be done, you know. So anyway, this is back in 2017. And as you can see, I do not even have a date on this one. So I didn't sign it. So um, I, used to, I used to do prompts. Before I started streaming... I played prompt, did the prompts game by myself. And this is just a collection of kitty cats. And I like kitty cats. I have a cat. This is just um, a, a conglomeration. This is, uh, I have a stencil. And uh I used this collar <laughs> and did this page. And the background is done. It looks like it's done with pencil. This is just, this is some, um, this looks like my marble paper. Um, it's a technique you use to, to, to make paper. You uh, put your paper in a box and you put, a, 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 like I had, um, yellow and blue paint dropped on here and I put my marbles in and rolled it back and forth yellow and blue make green and that's why you see a lot of green uh, I made the tassel I made the feather and I made these two little ornaments here and I stamped and painted that with uh, watercolor just some stuff that I did. This is before I started streaming. This is what I used to do. This is just, uh, I would do, um, I would just do a, a little art page. And this is done with Neo 2 collars, uh, which are, um, uh, it's a crayon, a watercolor soluble crayon. And they're vibrant colors. And this came out of a book that I had, a, an angel of some sort. And then I just, you know, I just made it. So I would watch girls on the videos on the, and, and try to do art like they do art. And this, these are, this is how I started out. And um, uh, I practiced making a lattice, you know, and then I stenciled on top of it. And it just evolved. You know, these pages evolved that way. And see, this is a tip-in. <laughs> this is a tip-in. And uh, so I did this art page outside of the book. And then I did, and I just glued and did this on the backside. Um, 
it's color it's just paint yellow and green paint and i've got uh, some wallpaper i've got some stickers and i've got some washi tape and here is washi tape around the edge stencil in the middle and a quote and here's some more stencils uh, this is a reverse stencil how did i do that oh gosh i'd have to find the stencil and it, 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 it it's a stencil though or i did it down and did what no 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 i'd have to i'd have to find the stencil but these are the art pages i used to do and i would find a picture and do a, some uh, do some paint and then do a, a quote or something like three or four you know five things this was the this was an a, a napkin um, the napkin when you peel off the layer the back part of the napkin this was the shadow the shadow of the napkin on the uh, it wasn't the front of the napkin it was the back piece I have done a lot of JB5s, and uh, this is not my JB5 book, but I do have JB5 books over there. Uh, I might have been inspired with, with some of these um, styles in my JB5s, but this is a napkin, and I drew drew a pumpkin, and this was, this was an exercise that I did with somebody online. Uh, I did not... Yes, I did. Inspired by Aussie Graham. Uh, this was a lady in Australia, and uh, she used to stream. And I don't know if she stream still streams or not, but she she could she could. Uh, I did this with somebody. On, I watched somebody do this, and I this was my version. Yeah, it was a ghost. The ghost part of the napkin. That's right. And these are just, a, it's a devotion page that I did. And I just used some uh, text paper, some flowers, and a quote. And this is kind of under the sea. This is done with eggshell. Who was it? Oh, somebody last month talked about, how do you do egg? How do you work with eggshell? This is eggshells on the outer part of this book. in um eggshell art i i don't know uh i don't know if i learned this on the internet or if i did it as a kid i think i i think it, it was a little bit of both somebody was doing it on the internet and then uh oh i've done that before and i and anyway i did it in the and it looks like coral when you put paint on it because it's under the sea and I, then I, this was a stamp that i have and then i painted her hair so, uh, and this is something that I did. I had a little, uh, little prayer box. And, um, when I moved down here, it was, it used to be in the, in my living room up North and I found the prayer box and, and this was all of the prayers that were in that little prayer bowl that I had. And instead of throwing them away, I glued them all down here. And then I wrote prayers and things all the way around the page. And I think I did the uh, the Lord's Prayer all the way around the page. And this was just something personal that I did. And this is just a, a, an art page. And I tried to do water. <laughs> like, see, this is Niagara Fall right here. See, I tried to be creative, okay? And I had a picture. And I said, I want to see if I can't continue the waterfall. <laughs> And this, this is, this is what you do when you try. Okay. This, this is what happens when you try. I tried to do a river, you know, from the waterfall and I, 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 I didn't know how to do it, but I tried. Okay. So, uh, this was back then in, in 2017. <laughs> See, it says you can do more than you think. Push yourself. 
So if I were to do this again today, I think I can improve because I've improved since 2017. And uh, but this goes to show you what you look like when you try. And I love it. I love it. I love the colors and I love doing all the little circle things and the paint and la la. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's it because I did it. I did it with my hands. This is one of my first birds. <laughs> I painted this out of a book. And then this is a a, a piece of a flower from a magazine. And this is either from a magazine or wallpaper. I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a leaf. But I painted the bird. And this was one of my very first paintings ever. Mosaic. Yes, I've done a little bit of mosaic. Uh, one of my favorite streamers wiped out her channel and doesn't stream anymore. Oh, Teresa. Sorry. Well, you know, uh, back, uh, I don't know how long it was ago, a year and a half, two years ago, you stream went through this ordeal where <clears throat> you had to fill out a, a form before you stream and said not it's not intended for children because children were going in because we're crafters and we say you know craft it's it's a craft video but to a little child a craft video is for them too because they like to do arts and crafts so we had to go back to the beginning of our videos from that point on not from the history part and we had to put not intended for children. And there was a big, there was a big spill with YouTube and people were arguing and, and they were uh, talking about stuff and things that could happen and said, you could get sued and all this stuff. And there were some women, some or streamers, I should say, they were afraid that they were going to get sued if a little kid watched their video and hurt themselves. Because we use scissors and we use heat guns and, you know, some of our products may not be some may some of our products products may be toxic, you know, to children or to, you know, you had to you have to be a, a mature person to use our art supplies, in other words. But um, but I didn't <clears throat> I didn't. And, you know, and if you just waited it out, you did not have to delete your your fit your videos because there was a grandfather clause for all of the history of videos and it turned you know you had to wait till the end for them to say that but some people got panicky because they said i don't want to get sued and you know and all this stuff and it, it it was it you know they were talking about it you know they were discussing it and and everybody panicked and some people did they quit streaming because youtube was you know going through this tough time and youtube had to make it legal, you know, and they were doing the best thing they knew to do. I I am so thankful for YouTube. I I can't express how much I love YouTube because it brings us together, you know, and it's a place we can come together for free, you know. And I mean, where else are you going to find that? But anyway, these are some of my inspirational pages that I used to do before I started streaming, and I would play with other people online. And do these games and 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 I would make these art pages and some of them I I haven't even finished this was my blue this is my blue page because <laughs> I had the blue bunnies <laughs> and it says you are capable to be amazing and this is where I learned how to do water <laughs> and I watched a lot of videos of, of how-to videos and there were some of these uh, one of the girls I watch is Allison uh, Pryor, and she um, she does these videos, and she teaches you how to do sunsets and easy th beginner stuff. And I think that's probably where I learned how to do the water, uh, and then practice, practice, practice. And then I then I this was a picture out of a an old magazine. It was a it was an and you know, like a real old magazine. And I found this picture. So 
this was my inspiration to paint this. So this was a cell phone, and this is like the old cell phone I used to have. It was a, like an eraser or something, edge. And the and then they they took a picture of this lighthouse, see, on the phone, and then I painted it. So I just thought it was cute. <laughs> So I put the picture in here to remind me, you know, how I got this idea, you know, how I was inspired. And this was something whimsical I did. I have no clue. It seems to me I painted it with somebody online. But again, it was before I started dating stuff and signing things and putting my name on things. And I used incorporated stickers with it, you know. Hi, Kathy. Uh, some of the mosaic that I've done um, is like paper piecing. Uh, I like doing paper piecing. And I think I should have one over here. It's something like this. This is called paper piecing where you, you use parts of paper and napkin. This is a napkin down here. So I do a lot of this type. Um, and then I have done some mosaic uh, arting with, with torn paper. Where you use the torn papers. Like you get all of the blacks and the blues. And you tear them up in little pieces. And then you, then you uh, do your art with those pictures. Those collars. And I've done that before. Uh... But I haven't done a lot of it, but I have done some. Anyway, this is this is a uh, this was done with another um, or uh, Ozzy Graham from Australia, and she did this, and I and I followed along with her and did something similar to it. These are just four stamps that I have in my possession: <laughs> music, and uh, the fish head, and the little angel girl, and another little fairy uh, garden fairy. These were done with Allison Pryor on her lesson, on her videos back in 10, 17, 2017. She taught me how to paint a, a daisy. And then this was done with Angela Anderson. I'm starting to date things here. And this was about Halloween time. And Angela, Angela Anderson is uh, an excellent artist uh, with a large following she streams uh, live and does her work on online live, and she is good. She is good. You can, she does tons and tons and tons and tons of pictures, and and I this is a kind of a whimsical style, and I liked I liked that. I liked that a lot. And here is some abstract. I don't know what. Uh, it was just some extra paper that I had left over. Uh, and I just glued it down for fun. Abstract. This uh, is a is a leaf. I can't remember the, if I, it where if it was a stencil or what happened, but it was a leaf. And I drew it over and over and over on the page, and then I colored it. I, I can't remember. I'm, I must have put a background collar down first. And uh, then I used, but it was the same leaf. And it might have been a piece of wallpaper because it was thick enough for me to trace around. And I, and I traced it over and over and over on here and, and made this up. Just top of my head. This is just some other random art pages that I did uh, as an art journal. This was inspired by... Ozzy Graham, too, from, from Australia. I did a lot of her stuff. This was a technique that I learned from Cat Hand. Um, now, I can remember some things, but I can't remember anything from yesterday. Isn't that awful? I'm losing my, sh I lose my short-term memory, but I can remember my long-term stuff. That's crazy. But anyway, um, this was done from Cat Hand, and she's, she is a big girl, um, has a large following 
and uh, uh, a mul mixed media artist. And um, I learned a lot of stuff from her. She doesn't stream live too often, but she does upload her streams. And you can watch her. And she's really big into the mixed media morsels. And I've done a lot of cat hands things. I've got another book over here with just background uh, ideas. I got like 20 or 30 back different type of backgrounds. And she taught me how to, she, you know, she explained how to do this in one of her videos. And then I did the art on top of it, which is just gluing these pictures down and tracing them. You know, no big deal. This is just a red, white, and blue page that I did uh, using dots. <laughs> and it was something patriotic. And then this was some happy mail. This is happy mail. And let's see who's it from. This was one of my pen pals. I used to do pen pals before I did uh, the YouTube. And um, and I had several uh, pen pals and I would keep their cards and as as the mem memorabilia. Yes, Cat Hand and her mixed media morsels, MMMS, are great. They are. That's right. Yeah, she, Allie, she, uh, uh, or Ozzy Graham, she, uh, <clears throat> she went back to work and sort of gave up her, her online stuff. And uh, she uploaded a few uh, videos since then. And you can probably still go and see her videos. And she would just do one page. And it, they were so, so pretty. And she had a style about her that I was just popular. I liked. And then this was... Uh, uh, this was just something fun to do. I found this fun, fun girl and I stenciled on behind her and, and just made it. This was a paper. This is when I got my paper dolls back in 2017 is when I got my paper dolls. And this was, um, Doris Day. And so I did this dedication to Doris Day. Okay. Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. And uh, this was her her paper towel, her paper doll cardboard thing. So yeah, mm -hmm. this is a fish page, and these are uh, cutouts. I don't think they're stickers. I think I cut them out. And here I started painting my palm trees, and I've done a lot of palm trees and. Um, and I, I've got lots of them hanging around all over the place because I live in Florida now. So I've practiced palm trees and I practice water. And this is inspired by Allison Pryor as well. And this is just a, 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 a deco page. And I decorated, did a rainbow on the background and I put the music down. So I was inspired to do this this page for the music and then uh, I did this one too in music and it was fun it was fun to do these are really fun I, I love these pages uh, I forgot all about them and this this one here I got it from a girlfriend who uh, passed away and um, her daughter brought me a, bo a shoe box full of her card making scraps and this was in her box so it's kind of dedicated to to her and then these are some butterflies that i had uh stamped out on this is on a paper towel and this is on a piece of paper and uh and then I've got red paint, red paper, all kinds of reds, shades of reds in the background to make the background. That is cool. And I like maps. And for some reason, I did a page of maps because I like maps. A map of the world with maps around the edges of it. <laughs> 
and this is a door. This is Allison Pryor. I've, I've done this door several times in different colors. And it was a, it's a fun Spanish garden. And it's kind of a popular to paint. If you look up uh, Spanish doors, you'll see a lot of different people paint these doors. This is fun. This was fun to do. And it was uh, just something, something arty that I did. I made up. And I find that I find magazine clippings and put them together with other words that match. And I'm pretty sure I got all this out of a magazine. And then this one here is is my blue page, of course. And this is all done in blue. And then I put down these uh, these are punch outs. Uh, it's a punch that I have of these flowers. And then there's some stickers on top. And it looks like uh, map paper or some kind of advertising paper. And then this is just uh, a little pretty page that I did. And it might have been a card. It might have been a card that I received and cut up and repurposed the card over here. And this was done with uh, Alice uh, Angela Anderson. Uh, paint along with her did this and this is a card and I just glued it down and I had this is all scrapbook scrap paper that I made I made this painting paper oh uh, Jen is Ozzy Graham her name was Jennifer Jen that's who Jen was. Um, what else? Shannon Green gives you good ideas. Yes, Cat Hand. She's doing colors, I think, now. Yeah. Uh, I love. Uh, I, I haven't really watched a lot of other uh, video people lately because I do my own. And, and when I watch other people, I want to do it. And I get overwhelmed when I can't finish everything. So I pace myself, you know. And so I do my own art now. Instead of watching everybody else, I do my own thing. And if, you know, and if I get tired and I want to do something, then I can, I can always pull them up. But these are all my own creations on this stuff. And this is just nothing but a pink page with scraps, scraps of pink. And then this came off of a bulletin uh, that I had. And then I just put some positive quotes down. And then this was, <laughs> remember the spinners? I don't know. Are they still popular? The spinners that you put in your hand and they spin around? I don't, I've never had one. But apparently all the kids loved them and they would spin, spin, spin. And then they banded them from school because all they did was spin in school, you know. And and they weren't, they were spinning and they weren't paying attention to their lessons. Well, uh, this came out of a magazine and it was a spinner, you know, frigid, fidget spinners. Yeah. And so I got creative this day and I put it, I put it in this book. There's the other, there's back with a Brad and I made it spin. And then I said, so it's like spinning paint, you know, and I did, I did, and I just kept going around and around a circle. And then I put the spinner down and, and, uh, I, I think I waxed it to get it to spin, to make it slick and, and just put something good, funny down here. Your vision starts here. And, you know, it was just something, just something I made up. Nobody in the world has ever done anything like this, right? I don't know. <laughs> and this page, oh my gosh, all I can tell, all I can say is, um, I was, wa I've watched lots of girls do do things, and I, I, I did it, I did it under the C page, and I found this picture right here of a fish. This is the picture out of the fish book, out of the, out of the fishing magazine. This is the picture, and then I painted the rest of the fish, and I blended it in 
so that you could it would blend in the water and i then i did stencils and or bubble wrap this might be bubble wrap that's bubble wrap and then i did i have a stick uh, a stent a stamp of a of a mermaid over here and i put stickles on her to make her shine and and then i put some stickers down here under the sea stuff and there's another little mermaid here and there's a mermaid sticker right there and and I did an under the water scene um, with this one piece of fish. <laughs> and I got this whole thing out of it. So yeah. And here's another cat. I did I was in a cat thing. I did I've done several cats. And uh, this was interesting. I did this with uh, Ginger Clark. How to draw. Uh, and it was a lesson back then in August of 2017. And Ginger Clark is an artist and she does lessons on, on YouTube. And her husband is her sidekick and he films her. And uh, uh, so anyway, I did, I drew the cat. And, I, and for, for an amateur, I think I did great. I think it did great. So, and, then, and then this is dedicated to Mimi. And this was one of her, uh, some scrapbooks. And then I've got a couple of tags in here. And that was back in November of 17. And here I had, um, I had a piece of, I printed out this, okay? I printed out and it's a stream, okay? And so I continued the stream of water like a creek or a brook and underneath the brook there is some uh, scrapbook paper that looks like rocks and pebbles and then I put water over top of it to make it look like a stream and then I found these two urns and it reminded me of of uh, Bible days when the women would go down to the stream and gather and get their water jugs filled and stuff and then I and then I wrote down a, a Bible verse and it says she went down to the spring and filled her jug and came up seeking her wholeness in Christ alone. But anyway, it was a little it was a little Bible thing that I did. And then this this is something more modern. And I had an art book that I had uh, acquired from the library. And I took the cover of it, and it was art on the front of it, and it's different types of art. And I and I was moved by this. And um, this is this is this was a very unique page, and uh, I thought it turned out really well. I loved it. And here's another pink page of just scraps of pink paper and paint, <laughs> and it says, "I'm not an option. I'm a priority." And here's another map. And this was my brown maps. And I used brown paper on the background. It was just crazy how you color coordinate stuff. It's just crazy. So I tore paper and put it down first. And then I put the map on top. And I have no idea if this came out of this book or not. I have no idea. I can't tell because it's the book cover. And it's tore up and it's turned different directions. So I was into the torn paper book. And here's another map I had. And I just glued it down and painted the edges. Understanding art. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. So this is my imperfect page. That turned out perfect. <laughs> Here's something mosaic. I did this piece of paper, painted it, and did the circles on it and everything. And then I tore the paper up in tiny squares and put it down in the exact spaces where they belonged. So they're torn. Some of them are matched and some of them are not matched. So some of them belong together and some of them don't. This was like a half a piece of paper. So anyway, it was it's kind of like a mosaic. <laughs> and here's 
And and then I had the sign matches made in heaven. So I had the love birds and then I found two llamas together. <laughs> and then I matched the paper up too. It was a theme. And this is a piece of wallpaper. And it says it's not about being the best. It's about being better than you were yesterday. And and then I just have some scrap papers in the back. Looks like yellow pages. <laughs> and here's another one it's a, it's a bible verse and I did a lot of mixed media on here and I painted him he's a lion and here's a cat <laughs> hear me roar the world is changed by your example not by your opinion so roar like a lion <laughs> this is a napkin this is me learning how to do water Allison Pryor. And then I added a Bible verse to it. Practice, practice, practice. Here's another one of her garden doors. And this was a this was a little Bible study that I did together. It had to do about the cross and carrying the yoke. And I found a yoke uh, and cut it out and put it on the cross. And, and I, the, the rest of these are probably, a lot of them are Bible verses and things. And this is just a silhouette. And I did some kind of technique on this blue paper, blue paint. And I probably is salt, if I had to guess. And this is a, this is a solid rock. <laughs> and it's just something that I painted. And I don't know. The stuff you do. I love it. I love this whole book. Here's another uh, uh, modern art cat. <laughs> and it was an art lesson that I did from Hey Arnold. H-A-Y-A-R-N-E-L art lesson. YouTube published in January of 17. And here is a cat. Another art lesson by Merle, K-A-Z-A-N-I-A-N, How to Draw a Cat, off of YouTube. So I'm starting to date and, and put down where I've gotten things from. <laughs> so I drew a cat. Here's a, here's a red page. Here's a gold page and a Christmas card. Here's another Christmas card, another Christmas page, used glitter. Here's an angel that I used to do. This is the angel I was looking for, the farmer's, the father's market. I kept saying the farmer's market, but it's the father's market. And she does angels, and she's off the internet. And I was going to try to start doing some more angels. The Father's Market. I'm going to write that down because I will forget. But um, she do, she does nothing but angels, and it's 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 pretty cool. And so this here's an angel made out of a napkin. This is my Raggedy Ann and Andy page. And this is dedicated to my mother. Um, she used to make these dolls. And she had a pattern. And this was on the front of the pattern. It was like McCall's or something. And she had a bag of scraps. Um, these are the real legs. And this was one little apron that she uh, started to make. And I glued down as many pieces of the pattern as I could on top of each other on the background. And then I glued down this little this little piece of white and two, two, two of the leg strips. Some of the decoration or directions are on here. Uh, there any everything that I could I could clip off and put on a page to decorate even this little bow a uh, ribbon bow was a piece of yarn that was inside the bag and uh and then i got rid of the rest of the stuff but i kept 
I kept a memory page of it. And these were all from the pattern, the original pattern. And it's mom's pattern from 1217. But she made all the, you know, she used to make the dolls for the grandkids and stuff. Here's the, the father's market angels. And here's my collection of angels. <laughs> this is, this is what I want to put in that other book I have. And, uh, this is something that uh, I did. I got off the internet. It was a, I'm pretty sure I got it off the internet, and it was a, it was pictures of two birds with a Christmas tree in the nest. And then this was uh, off of off of this paper here. It was a piece of um, note paper to you know write a list on, and I kept the top of it, and I recreated it out of scrapbooking paper. I liked it. I thought it was cool. And here is something that I did uh, painting papers on the back of wallpaper. And I saved it and put it in here as a tip in. Here's another tip in piece of wallpaper. This is where I learned how to do uh, wood grain. And I was learning how to do wreaths. And I did a whole bunch of them. And right here's one of them. And then this was also, uh, I think, a Christmas card of some sort that I. Uh, I painted and this was off of the internet too the art Sharpa and it was a Christmas tree in the forest it was a glistening forest and then <clears throat> these are some uh, these are uh, bulletins that came out of a church bulletin from church I saved them for some reason. And here's more of my practicing my wreaths on the back of uh, wallpaper, wallpaper uh, sample pages. And I lear was learning how to do wood and wreaths. <laughs> I did multiples. And that's the end of 2017. <laughs> so... You guys have been chit-chatting among yourselves, so lurking a little bit. Okay, okay, hello. Hi, Erin. Erin. Anyway, there's Sherry Flanagan, Erin Morrison. Okay, okay. Kathy's still with us. Sherry, Teresa's still with us. Alrighty. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, it's good to reminisce sometimes. I forget and I and I and I love I love everything that I did and I still do. I still love everything that I do. <laughs> and I, you know um yeah, you guys are the only girls, the only people who would want to see these things. So it was good to, and I started decorating the front of the book and the back of the books. I even painted inside so, you know, nice art book. Go back over on the shelf. So, anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do tonight, guys. I'm tired now. Tired of talking. So, um, this is Saturday. So, tomorrow, Tanya and Lisa should be on. And then Mary be on tomorrow night. <coughs> and then Lisa will be on Monday. And then I'll be back on Tuesday. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me. Okay. We got some people uh, joining the, the group. And I'll get to that after a while. All right. <clears throat> so uh, I'm doing good with uh, the January schedule so <clears throat> it's a uh, quite an ordeal of a lineup but I so far I'm I'm enjoying it and I think we'll I think I'll get used to it I I didn't know if I could do this many projects in 
you know, just on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, they each have their own days of doing things. And and if we don't like this format, we don't have to continue to do that. But I just thought we would give it a chance for January. And and I like the variety, but we don't have to do it. We can just, you know, maybe do it all in one month, you know. Well, um, no, I am not doing any wet felting, but um, I am doing uh, a scenery, a scene. Here it is. I'll be working on this uh, Thursday. Tuesday is the uh, International Book and Mandolin Madness. We're going to be doing that Tuesday. So this will be Thursday. And um, there's a photo that we're going by. And this is the photo that we're doing. I have so far, this is a wooden fence. Okay, so this is the wooden fence, and then I've got to make the snowmen to put on here. I've did snowballs, <laughs> and I've got the snow, and then after I get the snowmen down, uh, they're going to be done uh, separately from here. And I'm going to make them first, and then I'm going to uh, felt them onto this piece. And this is a page. This is a felting page. And it's going to, when it's done, it'll go into this book that I made specifically for the felt, felting pieces. When they get done, they'll get glued into uh, the spine of this book like that. And the, they'll become a book. I'm going to do one of these a month. And... Um, <clears throat> It's better than nothing. <laughs> it's better than nothing. But I'm going to do a sheet a month. And uh, that's my goal. And I've got several people, uh, several girls of y'all are felting along. And that's great. And uh, I've recommended a lot of cookie cutters. You know, if you ornaments, that type of thing to get you started. And I've, I've also talked about that I have felting lessons for the entire month of January last year all of last year's january videos have felting in them and they're in the title some kind of felting and i've done wet felting in those videos as well um i did big sceneries i did the big fox i was watching it earlier today i think there's three videos on the fox just the fox and the forest and um <clears throat> I've 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 demo I've demonstrated lots of different ways to make felted things, including wet wet felting and then the needle felting with just the needle like this. And this is this is felting. You use a barb needle and some wool, and you felt it together to make it a piece of fabric. And this is a scenery a scenery piece. I'm making a scene, and uh, so this is this is what this is all about. But this will be done on Thursday. I better not do this because I will not want to stop. I love doing it, and and all I'm doing here now is uh, on here. I'm I'm trying to make the boards visible, uh, imitating these lines, and I'm going. I, there's my thread that I'm doing it with. And then after I get my, my two snowmen on here, I'm going to do these little dots. And that's going to be a snowflake. And that's the first snowflake that I did. Which is a piece of wool. It's all done with collared wool. And so this will be done on Thursday. Uh, you'll have to check out the firm felt. I don't know if the needle will go through the firm felt. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, Walmart and any kind of craft shop will have the regular feel, felt. And you might find a piece of fabric that you can felt onto. Some kind of flannels, you can felt on some flannels. But, but some things you can't felt. You know, you just have to uh, try another. Uh, you don't have any felt, Teresa? Because I just got a package. I'll send you some felt pieces. Oh, they're not restocking. Okay. Okay. Well, I can send you some felt. I'll send you some felt. Um... It'll be out in Monday's mail, Teresa. I'll send you a couple pieces of felt. Okay. Yeah, we'll get you some felt. <clears throat> but your fabric, any of your fabric stores will have it. If you have any type of fabric stores... this online from uh, walmart.com this this came online and it was seven dollars for 25 pieces and it and I um, if you order from Walmart you you have to have thirty five dollars or more for free shipping and I always I can always order uh, something uh, to get free shipping. And I wait till I get enough to order, you know, from them. And uh, and they come in, in, in packages of 10, packages of 20, packages of 25. Pack I think there was even a package of 50. Uh, you can get them in different, different, you know, different amounts. And I got this one. And there are some kind of fabrics that you can use. If you have any rummage, if you have any flannel shirts or something like that, test it to see if you can, if you can uh, felt on it. Oh, no, no, no. That's not a problem, Teresa. I, I can talk to you about that later. Well, you can message me, but I can send you a piece and you'll have it by the end of next week. I'll send, send cause I'm not going to use all of this. I actually, I've got it, all my pieces, um, uh, done up already, but that this, you know, this is, and they're not real thick. They're not real thick, but they're, uh, it would, it probably won't cost anything to mail it. You know what? I'm talking about something for the rummage. Are you sure something doesn't have a hole in it? <laughs> something that doesn't have a hole in it that you don't need? <laughs> Surely there's something. <laughs> Well, Melissa, you tell your tell your mother to go to the fabric store, and it's thirty three cents a piece at Walmart. Um, Teresa's going to send me some money for this, Melissa. <laughs> um. Anyway, um, she doesn't have any stores where she lives, Melissa. Yeah, M Teresa doesn't have any stores nearby. She lives way out in the country. And uh, and it's hard for her to get, get into town. Well, 
Well, you see, Teresa, you just have to go in there next time you do laundry and something that's kind of got a hole in it. You just take you go over there by the dryer. And when it comes out of the dryer, you just cut you up a little piece like this and then roll the other stuff up, up and put it up on the shelf. And he'll never know the difference. He won't know. You can just some things you just can't tell your husband. <laughs> yeah, these these are you can get these at Walmart. <laughs> Not just one, just one shirt. <laughs> but I even have an old blanket that um, was an antique blanket from my. I, I think it came either from my great uncle or my grandfather. I can't remember where who had the blanket. And um, and I cut it up into squares. He only has two shirts. Now, come on. He's got more than two shirts. Then he's got to have something else in the back of the closet. That has your name on it. <laughs> I'm picking on you now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want a visual that. I don't want a visual of that, Teresa. No, we don't want him to walk around. <laughs> um. Yeah, Melissa, you'll have to ask your mama to help you get if you want to, want some felt, um, and you can do crafts with it. <laughs> you can do crafts with it. So um, <clears throat> anyway, that's all I'm gonna do tonight, guys. Uh, I can't think of anything else at the moment. But anyway, um, I'm real excited about doing these. I love felting, and uh, I love the art of felting, and I highly recommend you go back and look at the videos. And um, uh, and and if you don't have any felting, felting supplies, you'll need to order you a beginner kit. And a beginner kit will have needles and and tools that you need to use when you do this felting project. Uh, it'll have it'll have a variety of beginning tools that you can use, but all you really need is the needle and the wool, and uh, and you have to buy your wool. You have to order your wool, and you can get these little kits that have a variety of collars in them, and uh, to get you started, okay. And then once you get started with your with collars, then you 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 will want more, and then you can order from the bigger companies and order them by the ounce instead of the grams. Because these little kits that they have the 24 different collars, you only get a little wad of collar. You don't get a very a very much from it. And uh, if that's all you have, you might have to put two or three blues together and finger and finger blend them together so that you can use it for a project. So, anyway, that's it. <laughs> so, uh, okay, that's it, guys. So, you guys have a good uh, weekend, rest, and if you do anything, uh, be safe. <laughs> and... Uh, And that's, that's, uh, I'll see you Tuesday when I come back or in the chat room. So, uh, <laughs> okie dokie. I'm going to put my needle up so I don't break it. So I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Good night, everybody. Sleep well. <laughs> and I've got the air condition on. Uh huh. Actually, I had the heater on this afternoon. It got down. It got down below seventy. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, you guys take care too. Hi, Mary. Where have you been, girl? Where have you been? I haven't seen you in a month of Sundays. I was thinking about you the other day. <laughs> have you been in the have you been in the in the observation room? Oh, it's in the 30s right now. Oh my gosh, and spitting snow. Woo! Okay, in the balcony. Well, all right. Well, it's good to see your name on the chat. <laughs> so, uh, if y'all need me, message me if you have any questions or anything, okay? And I'll see you guys in the chat room somewhere. Good night. <laughs>